Suck Pit is terrible. It's hilarious to see on Survivor, but at this point, you still kind of feel bad for the killer. You're like, here we go. Time to hold forward down the main middle of the map. Where's the main building? Yes, it's all the main building. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh my god, then look at this crap, dude. You see what I'm saying? This is why I hate this map when I'm playing. You guys see what I'm saying? <laughs> this crap is obnoxious. <laughs> Super playing killer. If these guys are helping you at all, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment. They help more than I could ever explain. Go follow on Twitch. I'm probably live making another guide right now. And make sure you go follow your boy MLT on Twitch as well. I cannot make these guides without him. So please show him some love. Enjoy the video. All right, it's Suck Pit. Yet another map with an overpowered main building with little to no counterplay from the killer's point of view. Thought I was running out of those, didn't you? Don't worry, there's plenty more, especially ones like this. So Suffocation Pit, number one, I'm gonna go over first because there's two versions of this map. The first one I think is a lot more obnoxious from the killer's point of view than the second one is, specifically because this mid garbage, that's literally what I call it, this mid garbage here is insane like six gym tiles piled on top of each other. I think it's five actually piled directly on top of each other one into another and if you get the right RNG you can literally just like hold W from one end all the way to the the other five tiles in a row literally holding forward and jumping safe window after safe window and every single window you jumped the killer lost distance on you and that's why I call it the mid garbage it is ridiculous but this is only in suffocation pit number one so i call this one suck pit it also acts like the azeroth resting place or sanctum of wrath type of map where it forces the killer to sort of guard one side or the other and not be able to do that much and without guarding one side or the other because it's such a big map if you don't guard one side or the other it's literally all the way on the other side of the map it makes it really frustrating because it's not on top of having a killer shack over here and an overpowered main building on the other side they have all this mid garbage to deal with and they're supposed to deal with one side or the other so it's like do you protect killer shack with the mid garbage that close or do you protect the overpowered main building with the mid garbage that close. But this is only on suffocation pit number one. That's why I call this version suck pit and the other one is number two. Number two, we'll go over in a little bit. Number two has basically two areas where you have overpowered tile, not overpowered, but just like gym tiles right on top of each other that makes it overpowered. And, but it's not like this one big consistent area. And if, since it's only two gym tiles really right by each other on the other areas, it's not as bad connectivity wise of just being able to like run through and through and through and going window after window after window and not even mattering which RNG you had and putting the killer at a lose-lose scenario. But the middle is here, obviously. Like I said, you have tile, 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 killer shacks over there. You're pretty much always gonna have this wood pile here, which is mm, like the one balanced part of the map. And even then, if you had a long wall here, you could run around this, make the killer go around. Now the thing is, it's a little bit of a dead zone that you can't see through the killer, like this whole slide, they could have like double backed, but if you're not in chase and you're listening, they could push you that way and then jump one of the windows here if you had like a long wall spawn here. So even even the wood pile can get some value on this map, which is kind of absurd. Or the water tower, but the water tower is usually over there, as it is right now, which I low-key think is one of the best tiles in the entire game against Nurse. Because, <laughs> I mean, if you're wearing this hat, the, the killer can see you over it, obviously. But if you're not wearing the hat, and that's why I wanted to wear this hat for a little bit, but... And if you're not wearing this hat, then a lot of this nurse can't see you over and she can just like 
has to take a 50-50. So, like, even Nurse doesn't have a great time on this map. It's because in the middle, she has to try to guess where you are. And then right there, she has another water tower, which you can go back to the middle and get away from. The main building isn't super great against Nurse or anything like that. But the main building is super ridiculous against everybody else. Because it has this literal, what we call this an op -ness, But this literally spawns here every single time. And then you're going to have a 50% chance whether you're going to have either that window or that window there. It's literally 50% chance. So you can get your three easy loops off the one and then push over into that O penis over there every time. It's ridiculous. And then you also have a pallet like there for the hip to fix the dead zone, which you don't want to use unless you're trying to connect that to this pallet over here, which is why you never want to throw this pallet. Literally ever want to throw this pallet. But we'll get to all that in a second. Before we get to that, let's go over the suffocation pit number two. And then let's start going over some of the common tiles that are going to appear on the suffocation pit, both of the suffocation pits. So this is suffocation pit number two, which I think is more manageable from the killer's point of view. It's still a huge map with way too many tiles and way too strong of a main building. And the main building is the exact same setups in the first suffocation pit as it is in the second one. But it doesn't have that huge middle garbage. As I said before, it has clusters, so you still have OP stuff, but you might not get completely connectable stuff, which won't be like six or five or six tiles directly on top of each other like it is on number one, which is why I think that one's much more frustrating on top of the fact that it forces you to guard one side or the other. This one is much more a traditional style map where you got the main building, yes, at one side of the map, but there's stuff on both sides of it. And it's not, like I said, something dividing the entire middle of the map that's extremely overpowered. You're going to get these two tiles on top of each other, which you can have connectable, like even right here, right? Because if I was going to run this and jump this window and say he pushed me around this way, if he pushes me around this way, I could run here and then I could run right into this here. <laughs> essentially without even having to play that tile and if he pushes me around this way then i could run back to that pallet over there but if he pushes me this way i'm back to this window and a lot of times in in this corner over here you're going to have overpowered stuff since it is two gym tiles so close to each other same with that corner over here because you can you're going to have two of these gym tiles close to each other and you have filler tiles in, that you can use as sort of like connectors so like if you're over here and then looping and you pushed over here and then say he pushed you around this way. And he pushed up and say you didn't even want to try to loop that anymore. See if he mind games himself and he does mind game himself. Then he can make it over to here. And if he didn't mind game himself enough, then you can try to get to this pallet. And then looping this one around. And then if he mind games himself again, like say he greeted it or he respected it and he went around. If you respected it at all, now you can make it back to this gym tile. So suffocation pit two can still be very obnoxious, particularly in those two corners of the map since you still have gym tiles specifically because they will pretty much always have a window unless you get a simple pallet gym or a seawall all the other ones have windows which make them immediately recyclable when it comes to connecting them to something else because it doesn't depend on like a pallet being gone and then now you can't connect it it's like no those are windows so as long as there's a filler in the middle you're going to be able to connect it and then connect the other two and then the other corner literally just has two right on top of each other it's still more manageable than the first suffocation pit but it's still some ridiculous setups you can get here there <laughs> admittedly really funny but at the same time it's like pretty much little to no counterplay on a lot of the killers that you can be playing especially m1 killers now that we've gone over the formations of the map and specifically like where you'll find overpowered stuff now let's go over all the common tiles first that you find on the all the mcmillan maps but specifically on suffocation pit also going over these common tiles i'm not going to be as specific as I just did for Wrecker's Yard. Wrecker's Yard was a map that had only common tiles, so I felt that would be the map to go as specific as possible without talking about every single individual killer. Because eventually it'd be nice to make guides about how to loop every single killer, and then you could go over specific tiles, specifically common tiles. But with this one, I'm just going to talk more about general pathing as opposed to don't do this because Huntress here or, you know, and I, and I can throw a little hints in with that. It's just going to be hard to do that as specifically as I did as Wreckers Yard without making this guide be like six hours. So that's how we're going to be going over the common tiles on this video. And if you want more info on the common tiles, I know they're not the exact same on McMillan as they're on the Auto Haven Wreckers realm, but they're similar and the info there could help pretty much just as much as they could help here with some subtle differences. 
First up, we got the Simple Pal Gym, or a seawall. A lot of people call this a seawall, but I don't like calling it seawalls because the exact same formation appears on other maps, like Auto Haven Wreckers Realm specifically, and that one is not shaped like a seawall at all. So I like calling it a Simple Pal Gym instead, but this is also called seawall, so if you hear somebody calling it a seawall, this is the exact gym tile that they are referring to. Now, this one can be identified pretty much easier than any of the other ones because if you're looking straight through there, you know you have nothing else here. You know it's not to double windows because you know you have the pallet there, and you can just run straight up into this tile to get involved. If you're coming from this side, the exact same thing, you can see exactly what it is and no other tile is shaped like this with this pallet, so you just run right into this to start getting involved. Where it gets a tad trickier is when you're running from this side or the top side to get involved, because obviously there's nothing else shaped like that, but you can't see a pallet or a window. So when you see something that you can see directly through the middle right there and you cannot see a window, you know the pallet's gonna be on the right side and that's where it's gonna be. So if you're doing this, it would be best to initiate chase this way, and this is also one of those tiles where if you see if they try to mind game at all, you can sort of hold forward away from it. So that's where I would initiate chase direction-wise coming from here. Same thing if you're coming from this direction. You can see straight through it and see that there's no window, so you know there's going to be pallet on this left side here. And same thing, I would initiate chase by going right into this and sort of seeing if they mind game themselves before getting up into the right checkpoint. Now, my favorite checkpoint on these is as far as you can get to here. Keep your feet moving at all times. I don't talk about this too too often because I do talk about it probably once a video but you want to keep your feet moving because of the momentum system so if the killer moonwalks around the corner and you're standing still you're going to gain less distance trying to get to the pallet than if you're moving your feet and the killer moonwalks around the corner and you have your camera in the right spot killer moonwalks you're already moving so you can make it to the pallet faster and that's why you want to stand right here you don't want to stand super deep you don't want to stand as close as possible because if they moonwalk around that corner you're too far away usually to make it all the way around and make it back to here not all the time but you have to deal with your own reaction time as well and sometimes you'll deal almost perfectly and make it around anyway but it's better just to play it sort of right here and why you want to play it a bit safer on this side is because a lot of times if the killer does moonwalk they're going to moonwalk not only around here but they might moonwalk this way as well and that's when you can sort of count on killers pathing a little bit inefficiently because we're talking about how you can always loop tighter anyway like if you're coming around the corner you can always work on looping tight but killers when they're moonwalking it's hard for them to path efficiently so a lot of times when the killer comes moonwalking around this corner you have a big a little bit bigger of a buffer than what you initially think because you'll see the back of them coming around here and you don't gotta like panic and immediately be like oh it's over i'm outplayed sometimes if they're they'll moonwalk around that corner and won't do it quite as efficiently as possible and if you're moving your feet and get the jump you'll make it back to this pallet as well this is also one of those pallets where if you're standing somewhere and you don't see the killer for a little bit it's a good time to leave that kind of applies to all gym tiles you don't really want to get caught in chase for much too long at the simple pallet gym here you'd, you'd only really want to be caught here too much if this is the only place you have or you're just working on looping this tile which can also help because if you prove the killer you're trying to loop this tile and that you can it makes it much easier to leave because the killer is going to sit there and try to mind game to get you off of that tile and get a hit from that tile another thing about this tile specifically is these walls are not completely pointless say the killer is running from the right side and this was the only tile we have here and the killer would beat me to this pallet that's what you can use this wall of now this is a very unsafe wall because they can moonwalk around and if they moonwalk around you're pretty much screwed and if you stand this close and they moonwalk around this way you're way too far from the pallet to make it all the way back around and make it to the pallet but every now and then this come this wall comes in handy where they have you zoned out from the right and then you can force the killer to loop you around this wall which will give you enough distance to make it to the pallet that happens with a lot of different tiles like the four piece and stuff like that where you're like say you're running by the killer and I wasn't going to make that pallet over there I'm running this way and then the killer goes on that side of that now the killer has to loop this thing and now it is this much distance between me and the killer which might be enough distance for me to make it for here and there so if you want if you're trying to path differently you can sort of fool the killer on getting on one side of something and then go the other way to gain distance even though you're just holding forward and trying to get to another tile but that specifically is relevant with this tile over here just because of that you could be zoned out same thing you could be zoned out on this side and they can make the pallet and then you force the killer to loop you here and make it around this way it is unsafe but just know that you're not completely out of choices if you're zoned out in that way the next other thing that you really want to do a lot is if you look at all like you're trying to loop this tile since it is kind of unsafe killers will try to mind game if you see it even the teeniest little bit just hold forward if you see a killer like go in or do anything because killers might even do something like this where they see you there and they think you're at the pallet and then they go this way and then moonwalk back out because when they go that way they would force you to run this way and then they moonwalked back into completely eliminates that one as well that's a great mind game for the killer to do but at the second they moonwalk and moonwalk back in they just lost more distance for you to get to another tile maybe a safer tile but if that's a safe tile, that's definitely what you want to loop. And if you really want to be super safe, say you're on Deathhook, 
a lot of killers, obviously not projectile killers, but even projectile killers you can do a little bit against this. But once you can kind of pre-drop this, it is safe. Because you have to wait for the killer pretty much to get to like past this little line right here, like here, for them to swing. And they probably still won't get you if you're watching. You probably still get across, especially if you're running something like resilience. And then you just stand here at this checkpoint here because the killer same thing even if they moonwalk they're gonna have to swing from like here and even if that gives you more time to be able to see it you just have to be patient don't ever jump for a red stain always make sure you jump once you see the actual killer and if they try to mind game this and they push all the way around then you have that whole length of that tile if they're going to really not break that pal and that is a massive length for you to get somewhere else if they're really going to try to loop that <laughs> but that is a safe tile if you drop it and it's a little unsafe if you try to loop it but it is probably the most one of the most fun common tiles on the maps to try to loop just because it's unsafe and has counterplay from both parts No! I'm sorry, Steve. Yes! We can run around the trap. It wasn't set properly. I was worried. I fucking saw... Drop. Damn. I mean, yay. Because I am the last one that needs to get hooked. Yes! I've been working on that. Damn it! <laughs> Good shit demo. Deeply though. Good shit. This is bad. I have to run to this tile so we're far away. And I have to try to loop it. Good shit. He kind of scared me. There we go. God damn it. I thought he went back the other way. <laughs> no! Oh god. Yes! Here we have a long wall gym. It's kind of like a PW gym, which is also known as a short wall gym, but that was called a short wall because of this gym here. Because this was the long wall, the one was a short wall. Now there's more gym tiles around nowadays, that's why I stopped calling them short walls and started calling them PWs to differentiate those specifically from the double windows because those have shorter windows and if somebody's newer to the game trying to learn and you call that a short wall, isn't that one called a short wall? It's a way shorter wall. I don't know. So now I just call those PW gyms or P-dubs for pallet window gyms, but this is the long wall being the reason why I call those PWs because that's why they were called short walls in the first place. But with this one, probably the safest actual window of any of the gym tiles, you can even run the window by itself because this 50-50 here isn't as quite a 50-50 as really think because even if they don't double back, you might have enough distance to make it back around to this pallet anyway, or even just run straight up into it, because if they didn't double back, yeah, you could just run straight up, right up into that pallet. But if you did jump it, and they are up there when they double backed, it's safe enough of a window where you still might be able to make it back around to the pallet to be able to loop. Now for this scenario, I like saving the window for last, since I don't like being, especially if we're gonna talk about being in those scenarios, we're talking about uh, double vaulting, because double vaulting is so hit or miss, depending on whether the killer's ping is good or your ping is good or not. So I always try to avoid the scenarios of doing those double medium vaults anyway, just specifically. And that's why I try to keep moving in chase. To see, sort of leave everything up to the, chase, the chances we create for ourselves instead of the chance of internet connection. So because of that, I try to loop this most of the time. And 
staying at your checkpoints, same as like a simple pallet gym, you'd want to stand right here because you can see them. That's This right here is a lot longer of a wall than a simple pallet gym is. And that's why you don't want to stand super far away. You want to stand like right about here ish. Because if you're about here and you're moving your feet still and they come around the corner, you'll probably make it. But you got to make sure you whip your camera around right when you get to here. Because this is actually another pretty good checkpoint right here. Because it doesn't look like it, but if you can line that up right there against the wall, there's no way they can even moonwalk around. They wouldn't be able to see you because of like every killer's hitbox in the game is big enough. And same with this side over here. It'd be really hard for them to get anywhere even if they moonwalked without you being able to make it back. And then once you get to this point, if you don't see the killer or a red stain coming from either side, that's when I usually like to jump the window. And you can sort of do that when you're stuck in that common area no matter which way you're being pushed. Like if I'm being pushed this way... And I go here, and then I don't see that, because this is like sort of the unhappy land where if I don't see the killer, you stand here for a second. If you still don't see the killer, if you don't see them flying around that corner, that's when it's nice to push around this way and jump that one instead. Because otherwise, we might as well still keep greeting the pallet and doing it that way, right? Now, this is a very safe pallet as well. If you throw this pallet, the killer can't do much about it. They're probably going to have to break the pallet, especially because you have a strong window there. But... You can also use these backpath things every now and then. I do not ever suggest taking one of these strange pathings, like going around back here, unless you've already been looping the killer at the tile. Because if you go out there, you're in the middle of a dead zone. You're farthest away from anything you can use, from the pallet over there or the window over there. So I would only use these back ones if I'm trying to escape after you've already been looping, even looping other tiles. But if it's like your first chase of the game, I would never try to hit him with something like this pathing here. He won't see this coming. It's like he wouldn't. You wouldn't see that coming if you were already looping and, and he knew you were taking these specific efficient pathings. Then you can throw it off. But if he doesn't even know how you're going to loop yet, it's not a good idea to take a big risk like that and like go out on this side. Same thing. You do not want to be caught out on here. But for the most part, this is how you, I usually am trying to loop it. And then same thing here. If you're running that way and you don't see the killer, you're running around here and then you come this way. Don't see him. Just jump the window. I missed the window that time because we all need to work on pathing. But... At the same time, that's usually when it's the right time to jump the window. You can even run around the flaming pile of garbage if you want. Like, come on, and sort of line you up for the window. Now, do I identify it? Because it looks like a PW gym. If you're running at it this way, it's pretty much the same format. It's just you would know which one it was. Because if you saw the window specifically right there, you know you're going to have the pallet there. And the pallet would be right here if it was a PW. So it leaves no dot in your mind, even if you can't see this pallet here. And same thing if you can see this pallet here. Like, oh, I know it's a, I know it's a long wall. I know I'm going to have the long window over there. So if I was running this direction towards this, I would come this way and see if the killer tries to mind game around by pushing us around that way. If he does, then we can go that way. And if he doesn't, then he's just giving us a free vault on the strong window, which we can push around this way. And then he can either run this way. And if he doubles back, then he can come reset to this way. Or you can just, if they allow you to do this, because this would be ideal, if they allow you to push this way, they push around the window there. You push back up this way. They run in here. They don't mind game at all for some reason. They push you around this way. They come back to this way. If they're not mind gaming at all, and they respect the pallet, that's and even another play you could do where they respect the pallet here, and because of them respecting the pallet, you can get there. But that would be a good play even if they weren't mind gaming or anything. Like, say you were just running up to this pallet and you weren't sure if you're going to make it or the kill was a swing. They respect it. If they respect it at all, that is almost guaranteed enough distance to make it that way. Even if they push around that way, you're going to make it at least around to this pallet again, which I think is the better choice if you're going to go to the window or the pallet and you're being pushed that way. If you're running towards the long wall from this direction, this is where it gets a little tricky for you to figure out if it's a long wall or a short wall. But just because of that, you want to run to the right. Because you're either going to have the pallet here or you're going to have the window there. And if I run this way to the left to figure it out, you're going to have to run out of your way to get a running vault, which the killer could just double back in there. And then you're stuck medium vaulting because he's in between you and the and the pallet that's going to be on that side. Or you're stuck just medium vaulting in general, which you might not have the distance to be able to make. So it's always going to be safer, in my opinion, to run to this one. Because even if you run to this one and it was a short wall, now you at least have the running vault scenario without having to give up extra ground to get there. And if it is this one and they respect it at all, then you're easily going to make this this window right there. If I'm coming up on one of those gyms and from this direction, you want to initiate chase by running to the right and then coming in this way. Very easy to identify this gym coming from this way because this is the safest wall from all the gym tiles. You just run right at it to initiate chase. Run right at this wall unless you're far enough away that you're in chase but don't want to waste one of your vaults. If that's the case, then you would just run right to the left. You don't want to run to the right because that takes you further away from the tiles. You want to run right to the power stuff. And same thing, if you go in here and they go to mind game, that's an ideal scenario if you want to get away from it too. Just like how you do on the simple pallet gyms. That works on a lot of stuff, especially a simple pallet and lane gyms as well, where you just break line of sight and the killer thinks they have an opportunity to mind game. You let them mind game yourself and get out of there. It's like in basketball, what they say about a no-look pass. You know what they say about a no-look pass that went out of bounds? You should have looked. Kind of the same thing. Sometimes you can just let the killer mind game themselves and you're like, huh? 
Now I'm just holding W, showing all my skill. So coming from this side, if you don't know which one it's going to be yet, because you can't really see the window yet, you don't want to run right at the window because it could be a blank there, and then you might not have a distance to be able to make it to that pallet if it's a short wall gym. So you want to run towards this here because this is kind of a win-win. The pallet is closer than the window is going to be. And if it's a short wall gym, then you can make the running vault right here. So if you're coming to this and you haven't identified it as a long wall or a short wall yet, from this direction, initiate chase by running to the right. That'll help you. And even if it's not the window, you have the pallet to get to a checkpoint. That is also the most connectable. If you're talking about chaining tiles, long wall is ideal. Pretty much what you want to see in any scenario being close to another tile. Uh, I want the Z-Wall. I was ready. 1v1 Z-Wall. Come here. The Z-Wall. Oh god. <laughs> Here we got a short wall, which is pretty much the same as the long wall, but the window's not here, and instead of the pallet being there, it's right there. And instead of the window being here, it's over there. So to identify this, if you're running up to it and you see it, see it and you see this, you're gonna know immediately that it's gonna be a, uh, a short wall or a pallet window gym. I call these P dubs a lot as well. So if I was running this direction, I wouldn't even try to go for the uh, for the pallet because if you try to go to pallet this way, they could just moonwalk and pre-swing it. If I go over this way and I try to go jump this window, they could just go around that way. So immediately, if I was running and I had a decent enough head start, I would go over to this one over here instead and then start initiating the chase this way because if they go out that way, I can just get a free running vault to start the chase off anyway. And if they go to loop normally, then I can then we can get pushed around this way and then start the chases this way. And this would be a good checkpoint as well. Because they push around that way, don't do the big goofy uh, turn around. You can just jump this. Or you can fake it, and they go around the side. But that's why I like to jump it when I don't see them. And if, and if I see them, I keep trying to loop. And then if you don't see anything there, if you don't see anything, try not to get caught in this area. If you don't see anything from the killer, just try to run back to this wall, this wall right here as well. Because they're trying to mind game usually, and you just want to let them do that to themselves. But ideally, if the killer's not going to try any mind games, you could totally just do this, right? Don't. They go around the outside. You come around this way. You come around this way, they go around the outside again, they're pushing you in this way, and they push in this way, and you jump it again. And they keep doing that. But obviously, that's why I loop just this one here, because I try to avoid those medium vaults. So if I'm pushing around this way, and I jump this, and he goes around the outside, and then I medium vault back in, but he moonwalks back in and hits me, now we're hoping that it's not latency enough for me to be able to jump again. Or just doing the medium vault back in and hoping that he doesn't come around and hit me again, once again with the medium vaults. And then we just use two or three of our vaults as well, so now the window might be able to be blocked. So, usually, that's why if I'm running around this, and then he's not here, and then he keeps pushing around this way, and if I don't see the red stain, then I jump, because if they're pushing around that way, they can push around this way again. And right here would make it better for us to get to our checkpoint again than the alternative. The alternative, say, we jumped it, and then we're pushing around this way. And then the killer, and then say we can't see the killer, there's a few things that could be going on. We could be running this way, and if we run this way, the killer could beat us to the pallet. And if we're running this way as well, the killer could have moonwalked in that way and beaten us to the pallet as well. And those are the ones I try to avoid. Because you want to stay at your checkpoint here, but if you're at your checkpoint and you come out to this way and they'd already moonwalked in, it's going to be hard to get to this checkpoint and or to get back to this running vault. And even then, that's more of a 50-50, whether they double back or not. So those are usually the mind games that I'm trying to avoid by just looping the pallet and then going with the, I don't see his red stain, I'm jumping the window now. Because I feel like that's a safe way to do. Just loop the pallet by itself, and then no matter which way, if I'm coming this way, and I'm looking back and I see no red stain, jump the window. And if I see a red stain, obviously, or I see him coming, then I can come this way, right? And if they're mind gaming, you leave, and if you start to leave and then they come around the corner, you're still in position to sort of get the running vault anyway. And if they're pushing around this way, same thing. Once you see no red stain, time to jump the window. Pushing around this way. I see no red stain, jump the window. And identifying it from this way, if you're running in, you would, as we were talking about with long walls, if you couldn't see exactly which way it is, you can't see the pallet or anything, that's why you would cut to the right. Because you can get the running vault here, and it's closer than the pallet would be, and the pallet on, on the long wall side is, is still closer from that than hitting a side vault here 
where they can mind game it. And that was why you would want to go that way. Same with if you're coming from this direction over here. If you don't know which gym it's going to be, you're right here. That's why you'd run to this way. Because you're in the scenario of being able to get the long vault. Or being able to get the running vault. Or going back to the thing. Or going back to the pallet if you wanted to. As opposed to coming this way. Where you would have to run out of your way to try to get a running vault to make it work. Or you would risk getting hit with either a medium vault. Getting hit by latency. Or medium vaulting and then going that way. And stuck trying to medium vault. Because you won't make it back to the pallet. So those are the mind games I'm usually trying to eliminate. When I'm talking about looping the pallet. And then jumping the window sparingly. Just barely greet it. Yes! Ah! Oh, God. He has boozle, fuck! Oh fuck, I did a big goofy turn around, that sucks. Ah! Mm, damn it! I should have thrown the pallet. Shit. But it's sub pit, I'm supposed to be able to hold forward and profit. Damn it. You're supposed to swing. Is that why I didn't get hit? I mean. Now I'm all curious. I'm like, where? Do not go that way. <laughs> I know I'm going. I just saw like another person over there by the main. Somebody else was back somewhere else. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I'm just running. You ever seen Forrest Gump? There's ah! Ah! Damn, sucks. I didn't realize that pallet was down already. So this one is the Ormon Gym. It's much easier to tell this one as an Ormon Gym because it looks much more like the Ormon Gym. Because <laughs> a lot of these other maps, like the Autohaven Wreckers Realms, it's an Ormon Gym, whereas the pallet in the window is pretty much in the same spot. But it's much easier to decipher with this one because those are regular walls, whereas this one on Ormon, you would have like the skis here. You'd have this little like hole here and then you have the skis right here. I'm sorry. And then that's why I like calling it because if they greed the pallet or they go around, you can either make it to the window. But if you greed the pallet, and they go around the long, the long way. You can sit right here and try to loop this by itself and wait for them to push around one way. Because if they push around one way, you can jump the window. And then if they push back around this way, you can run right back up to that same one. And if you come to this way and they greet it again, you might even be able to push around this way while they're mind gaming themselves. And you can get the running vault from this side as well. Don't rule out. Now, it's almost impossible to do this. But don't rule out that if you're caught out of position, it is still possible to sort of loop this thing by itself. And then get the running vault if you wanted to. Or loop that thing by itself and make it to the pallet. If you're just caught here and then wait for them to mind game and then make it to the pallet. But that's specifically why I liked looping these is because you, most killers you can see over this anyway and you can connect it right to this and the window is really safe. Now the one thing you have to think about if you are connecting it from this way and the killer's coming around this way is thinking about juking this way because if they juke that way, that way and they go back around you're either going to get very far if they commit or if they come back in if you juked it and they come back in, you can either use this whole wall, because if they even vault there to cut you off, you'll still make it back to the pallet. The only way that they can vault here and not is if you're like directly in front of them, and even then, you might still make it back to the pallet. So this looks really unsafe of a pallet, 
but the window is so safe that it sort of makes up for the two and then you can connect it if they don't if they mind game themselves literally at all it is a little tricky connecting these two because you have to react in time and get the running ball but nothing crazy hard pathing wise and to identify this gym running straight at it you can see the pallet there this is one of the easiest ones to identify and you can see that one right there so if i was running this way and the killer was a little bit on me i would either run the length of this wall since this is the big long wall with the window or if he was closer to me i would immediately from this initiate the mind game or jumping the window immediate 50 50. if you're coming from this direction if you have a big head start you would still go to that one but if you have a smaller head start you go to the pallet instead because the pallet is where you can sort of get away with stuff if you can break line of sight if you're back here you're either asking to get mind game or get hit so my recommendation if you end up coming back this way like you're pushing this way and you see the killer go around that way you would just go next it's easy on this map because the mid garbage but not always is that going to be the case. It's a little bit tough to tell from this angle, but what can be the dead giveaway is being able to see the crates right there. It is a dead giveaway knowing that you're going to have the pallet. And most of these tiles, when you don't really know what it is anyway, the pallet's on the left side. So running to the left side is usually just a good rule of thumb anyway to be able to initiate the chase. And if you're running from this angle, it's very easy to be able to tell, but you can just run straight at it, initiate chase, and then play the window as many times as you want really until you have to push to the pallet if you want. No. Trap or no trapping. Oh, God. I should have thrown it again. But I wanted more loops. Oh, my God. What am I doing? And then I blew it. That sucks. I had the heat. So this is the NO gym that I talk about. The new Ormond gym. Because it loops pretty similar. It's just less mind gameable from our point of view it's more the killer can sneak up on us and these are easier to loop admittedly on the azeroth resting place because you can see over these walls but they do loop similar with having a bigger safer wall to the window and then but it's mind gameable and same with this a safer bigger pallet but it's also mind gameable so if you're going to run this one right here, you, there is a way where you can just run this and wait and see which way the killer is going. And if he pushes you this way, you can just run right into the running vault. Same thing if they push you the other way, because this is a safer window than it actually looks if you're coming from this direction. Because you get to go all the way out to here, which gives you time to sort of react and see if they're, because if they even go out a little bit, you're probably going to gain enough distance to be able to make it around or make it to the pallet again as well. And even if you weren't going to make it to the pallet again, it's actually shorter if they pushed you around to come this way and then jump the window again. Because you can get some loops doing this. They just push around this way, push around this way, don't even think about it as long as they push around this way and jump it again. Because they're not going to try to cut you off this way if they didn't see you here. Because if they cut you off this way and you're running this way and you don't see them, you can just cut right towards the pallet and restart it over again. But this pallet is, it's safer than it looks, but it's still pretty unsafe because your checkpoint has to be like all the way out here and you can't see much coming around this corner. So if they moonwalked here, you'd have to be on top of being able to get to this like right away. So usually the route that I'm trying to take on these after I jump a window is usually coming around this way and then reacting accordingly. If he follows me around this way then I get an easy next vault. And if he pushes back around that way, then we can go back to the pallet again if we want and mind game this to go back to the window or just mind game the pallet if we want. It's also not a bad tile like lane gyms be able to break line of sight if they mind game at all you can just let them mind game themselves and go on to next now this is kind of a interesting tile to identify because the pal and the windows are going to be at the same spot even if you don't know where it is so if i'm running this way i know it's not going to be a lane gym and i'm like oh nice it's right there but the thing is on other maps we'll get to those maps eventually like borgo and garden of joy sometimes i swear it's a glitch but you'll get neither the window or the pallet <laughs> That will not happen on this map. At least I've never seen it happen on this map. So if you're running this way and you see the break in the wall, you know you're going to have the pallet there to play if the killer's closer to you. And if he's not closer to you, you have an even safer window to jump into. Same if you're coming from this direction. That's a really safe window. Pretty self-explanatory if you come this way. Whichever way the killer pushes you around, if he pushes you around this way, you can either run this way and have some fun and see if he wants to go this way, which is a little bit unsafe. That's why I said have some fun if he pushes you this way. Or you can go to the pallet. Or you can use this wall to sort of change directions and let the killer decide which way you want to go if you want. But it's a little bit unsafer on this version than it is on Auto Haven versions. On the Auto Haven versions, that's 100% what I usually tell people to do is loop this wall. But in this case, you just have to loop it that way and then see which way they're going to push you. If you're running it from this angle, I think this is another easy angle because you can just run straight down the middle and then see which way. If the killer follows you straight down the middle, then you can just jump this. And then if they push you around that way, then we're back to square one if we want to. You can even run around this way if you want. And then when the killer comes around, then you can do that. And if they mind game, you can leave. No! Oh, this is the worst thing that could have happened here. There's no pallet there. That worked though. Swing. Oh, I wanted to swing. That would have been sweet. I have nowhere to go. Oh, I'm lucky as fuck though. Let's go. 
Jump it. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping it would go down and I'd get a free vault. Woo! And then fuck myself. You get me though. No! Oh, it's so close. All right, we got the lane gym. Now the lane gym is a very interesting tile because you have different setups with the lane gym. You can have the long wall be here. You can have the long wall be right on this side and the window be like right here instead. And it's also different on different maps. Different maps have different versions of lane gyms. But this specific version, I'm not going to lie, I think is the strongest lane gym because it gives you two strong loops. Well, before we even get into actually how to loop this, this is definitely one of those scenarios where if you run into here, this is such an unsafe pallet to be caught in between because of how short that wall is. That if you run this way at all, you can sort of just let the killer mind game themselves. Even if they're pushing you from this way, you can run around this like you're going to do this and then just keep going in because a lot of times more on this tile than any other tile I've seen they try to do like those mind games where they put the red stain here and then they moonwalk pre-swing in this way but you've already held forward and got somewhere else so that is definitely a, something you can consider on the lane gyms when you have this big long wall here it's much better to actually sort of loop it like a normal tile because if you're running this direction either direction really but this direction specifically and you're running this way, it's good because then the killer can respect and go around the outside and give you a free chase. Now you want to stand and look here because if you don't see the red stain, they might be trying to back on you. So this is an unsafe area where there's no great answer for, but that's something that should exist in most tiles. It's something called counterplay. It doesn't exist in every tile, but it should. And right here is the counterplay is when you when you have this specific lane gym and you come back here, this is where they can sort of get you. But if you follow the chase, you have to listen for the heartbeat to sort of tell exactly how close you are. But sometimes the killer will just let you do this. Maybe one or two times. Even if it's pre-dropped. Pre-dropped, same thing. The killer goes around. I think they can catch you this time. Can't catch you this time. You greet it again. They go around again. Still can't catch you again. And this, like I said, works the exact same way if, if it had been pre-dropped. Now... If you want to run the window by itself, it's much better if you have specifically a setup like this. Because it makes another loop possible where if you're jumping this window and they push you around from that way. When you come around this way and you run to this and you are running this way. If they come around the corner because they're going to see, they would see you if they came around the corner and you were in between here trying to get a running vault. Which you can. You just don't, you don't want to do that from that angle. You come around this way because if they push around this wall, forcing you this way, you can get right back to the window again. You're back to square one. Now, if you do that, they might double back, but if they double back here, now you can either run up to the pallet or run around to this wall and try to mind game or just hold W and get away from it. But that specific loop is really funny. Where you jump it, they go around. You jump this way. They're pushing into you. They see you again. They push around this wall. When you jump it again, they go around the long way again. And then the same thing. Just one really simple loop. It is a little bit tricky to get that running vault, but... It's just like another simple loop. And the reason it, it's it's safer than it seems is because when you get caught up here and you don't see the red stain, which means they're probably pushing from the inside of the wall, that's when you can just push up to the, the pallet right here. Now, the pallet is another funny one in funny scenarios to chain to the window, especially if you're coming around this way and the pallet's here, and you just greet it, and the killer goes around wide, and then maybe pre-swing into the pallet, giving you opportunity to get right back to the window. And they push it around this way, same thing as we were doing this right here before. Then you can push to the pallet or jump the window. And if it pushes you around the other way, you can run right towards the pallet. So say we jump this here, and it pushes around this way. Then we can just do this mind game we were talking about earlier, where you go in, game it, and let them mind game themselves, which either gives you the opportunity to leave or to continue looping this, if that's what you really want to work on, is this tile. Because it is a fun tile to work on, and there is counterplay from the killer's point of view. And that's what's fun to take advantage of the mind games if you possibly can. Now, identifying this tile can be tough from this angle specifically, but if you see a big wall like that, with no window or anything, almost guarantee you that it's going to be a lane gym. And if that's the case scenario, you might as well run to the left because the pallet is never going to be on the right. And if you run to the left, you're either going to have the pallet here, which is usable. If you if you didn't have the pallet and it was over there and the big wall is here, at worst, you at least have a window to try to mind game. And if he like doubles, you could either get the running vault or you can mind game it and have him double back and make it to the pallet. So if you're running up to this and you haven't identified what it is yet and or specifically what type of lane gym it is you could be on the window side or you could be the pallet side just to play it safe you want to initiate chase by running to the right side now i actually think lane gyms are a bit trickier when you're coming from these angles to be able to initiate chase because if you're running this way to go into the window they can just go around because they're already on that side so you don't really want to initiate chase by going to the window but if you go to these pallets that puts you right in that unsafe area so really what i try to do from a lane gym if i'm initiating chase is holding in this way and i usually just hold forward because sometimes the mind game them owns their own self 
and you can see it, how they respected it because if you're holding forward and they went around that is usually the time where I can hold forward and if they went around that gives you two options you can either hold forward or come in and then double back and go back around which is also safe but you have to make sure you broke line of sight make sure it works and then come back around right but that's why holding forward is good because if they pre-swing in or something you can even run back around this way and reset chase to square one I'm not getting that running ball this time <laughs> like at all it's funny if you identify it from this area because looking at from this looks like it could be a long wall gym but we know it's not because the other lane directly in front of it and even if that wall wasn't there it was another broken wall you could see past it no it wasn't a long wall gym but this one is a pretty easy one to initiate chase the one thing you have to worry about is going back and forth because whichever way the killer goes and for the record i think it's best to fake one way wait for the killer to to react try to sort of stay out of their way and then fake back the other way a lot of times killers will try to go aside and then sucker you in with a with a vault so be careful of that but specifically when you're trying to go side and side you don't want to pass right here because the killer can just hit you here so when you jump this one and you're going side to side be hugging as far to this as possible going side to side knowing specifically which way he pushes you around because if he pushes around that way you can make it to the pallet and if he pushes you around this way then same thing you can either make it back to the pallet or allow the killer to mind get in the cells and get away or if he actually pushes you around back this way then we're back to the easy loop that we were talking about earlier Running into the lane gyms actually does become more complex when you're running from this from the other angle, but this one is a little bit better because of this. Because you can run straight down the middle, and the killer won't know which side you're going to go to. Because if you run hugging this side, the killer can cut you off that way, and if he cuts you off that way, you can just make it to this one. But if you want to start with one nice easy chase, you have to keep the killer guessing, and then cut over to this side and go to... But you want to catch the killer on this side of the wall. If he's too close, you can just get that easy vault anyway. If he's too far, you don't want to sort of wait in here in no man's land, not pithing, uh, pathing efficiently. That's when I would run to the pallet and try to greed that. And either run it how we were if we had this one, but if he had the broken wall with uh, where the broken wall comes out to here, that's when I would come here, wait for the killer to mind game, and then I would just leave the tile. Lane gym is an excellent tile to let the break line of sight with the killer and let them mind game themselves because they probably get a lot of easy hits from survivors camping pallet, throwing it one way or the other, and then getting a swing on the other side. Let them mind game themselves when you make it somewhere safer. I got a whole W, even if I get hit. Did he go this way? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, my God. Dumbass. Fucking medium vault. Not him, me. hilarious oh damn <laughs> you know she's gonna have traps over that way I don't really call her sis. I just say that when she like shows up here. She almost never shows up here. <laughs> Dang. It's good old dumb fun. I love it. Yeah, hit him with a mind game. Woo! Next up, we got the double windows. Now, the double windows is the reason I don't call short walls short walls anymore, and I call them PW gyms because this window is much shorter than the short wall. The short wall is at an angle, but this one, the, specifically this window right here, but these windows aren't as good. This window right here is actually pretty good and is very connectable to other tiles specifically, but obviously because of that, you need to have another window to compensate, and that's where you can get caught out of position a lot. So don't be afraid to use this big blank wall because if you're standing here and you wait for the killer to push around this way you can just run right into this and say the killer pushes you around this way you can come into either jump this or mind game let the killer double back and then you just restarted the chase back to square one and if the killer pushes you around this way then you can jump into this right here killer pushes around this way this creates another 50 50 part right here because you got to wait so wait here to see it when the killer's coming using your checkpoints and then run up all the way back to this window and then same thing if the killer just pushes you around that way and lets you loop it because this would be the ideal way to loop it and some killers won't know what which way to push you and they'll just let you do this and they'll push around that way and then you run into this and they push around that way and then you run over here and just rinse and repeat that's what you do if the killer doesn't try any mind games but that's why you a lot of the times you're gonna have to try to incorporate this thing right here and that's why this right here 
helps with us with the mind games instead of make, making it super unsafe because this right here breaks line of sight and a lot of times the killer just have to blindly guess whether you vaulted the window or not by listening. But if you have quick and quiet, obviously that would keep them completely guessing. But that 50-50 right there is the one that you want to sort of set yourself up for because it's like the safest 50-50 of the other 50-50s. So then you come back this way, and like I said, no matter which way he pushes, if they really want, you don't even have to, if you have a bigger head start and he doesn't double back, say you're waiting at your checkpoint here and he starts pushing up, you want to push here, but if you don't see it, you could just switch to this window if you wanted to. But if you do see him coming, you could just run right into the main window. So if he pushes around that way and you're looking, you can just push right into this. Right? And if he pushes you around this way, then either do the 50-50 here or you can restart the chase by coming around this way. And if he pushes around that way, you're back to square one. Looping this one. This right here, I think, is a very rough spot. You want to camp right here and wait a little bit, but that's where it becomes tough because you either have to do the 50-50 right here and get the running vault, which you have to go a little bit out of your way. But if that works and you get the 50-50 and they double back, then you're going to make completely back to square one on the safest side of the window. Now, identifying this tile is a little tough sometimes because you can't see the windows until you come around the corner. But that's the cool thing about the angles where you can't see the windows from is if I'm coming this way and I'm like, oh, it's that tile right there. You hold forward and you have a way to jump a window and start the chase, which is very nice. If you're coming from this direction, and that's the interesting thing about this one, is it's, this is a very easy tile to initiate chase, despite not being the safest tile in the world. But if you're coming from this way, same thing. You just initiate chase the easiest way possible, running right at that window. And you know it's not a long wall gym because of the other scenarios, so you know what to do from there. If you're coming from this direction, this might be the trickiest of the directions. If you have a big head start, you can just run past the window and save a vault, especially if you're in chase, but have a bigger head start, and then start at this area where we were just talking about. And I will say, I feel like most killers do push you this way because a lot of times if killers start to push you this way, they start to feel that it sort of forces them into that loop because that would be the shorter direction. If I vault this, they're not going to push me that way. They're going to have to push me that way, which pushes us back to the square one, the loop we were just doing. So I do feel like most of the time they do end up pushing you that way. Identifying it from this angle, if he's too close and you just jump it, I would just jump it and then I'd push to this side as well because they're most likely going to try to cut you off from the window. And if you come here, it starts the chase again where you can come to your checkpoints. And this is mind gameable, so don't feel bad if you can't juice the killer for five gens on this tile. It's not the safest tile in the world, but it is really fun to run for that reason. And it can be safe if the killer doesn't know how to run it and they're just pushing you in that cycle where they just keep going. But also makes it interesting is that you can enter from pretty much all sides. This being the last side. If you're entering from this side, super easy way. Doesn't even matter if it's a long wall or not. Either of these directions. You just run right at the big safe window. And then the other ways you have a window to run into as well. So it's pretty much the, one of the easiest tiles to initiate chase on, despite not being the strongest tile of the common tiles. I don't know if I can make this. Yes! Damn it. I fucked up! Caught me in the blind spot. That was a good double back. <laughs> I was just like running side to side. <laughs> I was waiting for him to do the thing. <laughs> he never did it. <laughs> Damn it. No! I'm out. Ah, snowman! Oh god. Interesting. I thought he was gonna vault! No! Dang. I'm lucky again. <laughs> oh, butt clench! Yeah, butt clench! Damn. 
Damn, I should have juked it again. Activity, Blair Witch Project's cool. Oh god, I stubbed my toe. This is awful. I'm going down unless you swing. No! 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 Oh my god. Double back. No! <laughs> I should have vaulted. My turn. This is why I call this the suck pit. Oh! Because of all this garbage in the middle. I'm the one that needs the aggro, so I'll go for the unhook. I don't mind trading for it. But it's Onryo! I don't know if I make it. I don't think I do. Oh shit, he had the... Are we in a zone or was that coup? Let's go. Freaky makes it here. No, damn it. <laughs> Alright, next up is the LT wall. This appears on pretty much every map in the game. Even maps that don't have common tiles, like Gideon Meat Plant has an LT wall on the bottom corner of the map. And that's actually a safer LT wall than most of them are, because it's extra long. But LT wall is one of the easiest ones to be able to identify, because you're going to see it there and you see it there. People call it TLs every now and then, but it's definitely an LT. Look at this. L. T. A TL would be a completely different... Now, there's nothing wrong with calling it a TL because it's the same tile. But just by definition, a TL would be the T there and then the L facing this way. Which, by definition, would be a different tile that you would have to take different pathing on and loop differently. With different counterplays from the killer. So this is definitely this is definitely, definitely an LT wall, not a TL wall. But, but this is probably the most... This one in the double windows, since it's no pallet and it's just windows, is probably the riskiest of the of the common gym tiles. But it is one of the more fun because you get 50-50 after 50-50 basically, right in a row. And if you're coming from this way basically, you would just jump it, right? And whichever way the killer push, if they push you around that way and you're running this way. But you have to stay here for a little bit to make sure the killer commits just long enough. And you come around this way, same thing. You want to stay here for a little bit because if the killer doesn't and you come around this way, they could have just moonwalked and get you into this 50-50, doing this whole thing back and forth where they're there. And you do not want to do that. You want to try as hard to avoid that. So usually to avoid all these type of mind games for the killer to do, no matter which way I enter the, the LT wall from, usually if I'm coming around here, right, I will go to the T now because the, I'm already in the right position because the T seems to be the more likely one for the killer to mind game themselves. And these are some checkpoints too. Like if you it, if it come to here and you have to wait for the killer to come around the corner and then you have this looking through the window on the right to see if they double back. And if they don't double back, you can keep holding forward because at least make it to here by the time they double back, which might give you enough time to make it back to here again. So you need to make sure you're looking there and then around the corner just to see after looking through the window again to see if the double back. And you want to make sure you wait because you can always make this jump but you don't making the jump is the thing you want to do very sparingly because it's a limited amount of jumps and it's a very unsafe window with an easy double back so to avoid most of those mind games i tr i sort of loop this in one way that leaves myself open to one specific mind game which i don't see killers do too much and you still have time to react so no matter what way we enter you want to jump it and then when you can get to the t and then loop whichever way the killer is doing you and then don't jump the window wait for the killer to mind game themselves and then just do it this way if you don't jump the window and they came around and you get hit, you just lost a 50-50 that it happens. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's better that way to have that 50-50 than all the other 50-50s we were just talking about where a killer can come across this way. And then the same thing. Say I was coming from this side, I would loop the L once. I wouldn't immediately go to the T because the T is the shorter side, more unsafe side. So I was coming from this side, I would just jump right to the L. Wait for whichever way the killer pushed. If he pushed me around this way, then I'd run to the T. And then same thing. Now running the T waiting for the killer to mind game themselves and if they did mind game themselves then we can either come here if they didn't mind game themselves we can even go there if they did mind game themselves we we're coming around this way and they double backed that's when why you need to have this come around the corner first so you can react in time 
But that's why I like looping it this way because the one mind game we sort of leave ourselves open to running this tile this way and you can still have some type of time to react is this spot right here. Once you're right here, you can't see around either side and you have to sort of blindly jump from this side over to this side anyway and hope that they don't double back there. Now, that's exactly the mind game I do when I'm playing killer. When I'm playing killer, I push survivors that way and then I wait a little bit and then I moonwalk back around because I want them to be caught out of position or at worst into this 50-50 here, which is like the easiest 50-50 to sort of win. You know, they have a limited amount of vaults and even if they did mind game, you're not far enough away to really lose too much distance. But I don't see killers do that too often. That's why I like taking the risk right here to keep the distance until I make it around to this corner instead of like waiting at a checkpoint here, waiting for them to come. I'll still wait here for a little bit. But the second I see them take a step out to even like this plant, I'm usually gone and, and moving because I want to have more options. And that's why I take the risk right there. Because most of the time they won't double back there every now and then they do. But even if they did double back there, it still puts us in the scenario of this 50-50 right here. That's just going to be a 50-50 scenario that we're going to be in already. And I like to prolong that as long as I can. So that's why I usually loop the L first. And then I loop the T until they mind game themselves or we lose a 50-50. And then if you've already won like three or four 50-50s, it is fun every now and then. I can't even tell you how often I do this. It's literally like once every like week, I would say, where it's like, hey, I'm actually going to jump this. And every now and then you win the 50-50 and they came in and you're like, ha ha, I actually won that one but i like to say don't jump it until one or two of the mind games has worked and then jump it and even then you're still risking it but that's the whole point of a 50 50 is it's either going to backfire or it's going to work Use the saw to your favor. Good shit. The curve Billy Enjoyer. Oh yeah. He had a wiggle. You know this one now. Ah! Oh shit. Need a back. <laughs> Don't double back, please. Yes. Can you make it around this? Double back. Nope. What the fuck? God damn it. I knew it. You fucker. <laughs> I don't know where he has traps at. Which is big Sag. LT wall. There'll definitely not be a trap there. <laughs> Jumps LT wall, goes down immediately. Any double back here? No, ah! ah, it was! <laughs> Use the tree. Good shit. I was hoping I could make it around the corner before, but I was not so lucky. Yes, got him again. Just like the beginning of the match.
Now that we got the common gym tiles out of the way for Suffocation Pit, let's go over the common tiles that appear on Suffocation Pit, the Macmillan Filler Palette tiles specifically. So the first one I want to go over, this is sort of a four-piece of its own as well. It doesn't become a four-piece too, too often. And what I mean by a four-piece is using tiles like this, because the palette can either spawn there or here, depending on which setup you get. It's either going to be there or this one. It's the same exact tile. It's just depending on where it's spawned. And the other blank tiles are still going to be here in the way. And what I mean by using it as a four-piece is the same thing. Sometimes you're running this way and the killer has you zoned out, but then you can force the killer to loop this tile specifically. And they're going to double back. They're going to know which one, which way you're going. So you have to be on top of it, but you have to force them all the way around. Say if they, they can even double back here and still beat me to the tile probably. So like you really got to be on top of it, but it is definitely, if you make it to there, then you easily make it to the tile. That's why I like to think of it them as the four piece because these are, in, you can incorporate these. Not all the time are they necessary, but sometimes that can be the difference to you making it to the pallet or not. Now, besides that, this is a pretty safe tile against most killers, not projectile killers. But running around it, it's safe enough where you're not risk getting pre-swung on, where they can just mind game one way and then swing in again. And it's unsafe enough where the killer will respect it a lot. Now, tile like this is actually really good against someone like Doctor, I will say, because if they shock you and you're running around this corner here, you can just go to this one instead. And then he's going to shock you again before you get to the tile. Then you run to this one. And then he's going to shock you before you get to the pallet. You can run to this one. And same with something like Dredge. Dredge, you would love to use these other pieces of the tile, like over here. Dredge, uh, say you were looping this, and then he had just put his remnant on that side. If he puts his remnant on that side, you can either run to this one and loop around, or you can hold forward to another tile. But if you're going over here, and then you see him get rid of the remnant because he thinks you're holding forward, then you can just loop right back around this one and come back to this pallet again. <laughs> so the, the four pieces are really damaging, specifically to like Dredge and Doctor. But against projectile killers, this is going to be pretty rough. If you're playing against Huntress, she can hit you over a lot of this. So you better get your ducks in time. And some of them, like even here, I think she, if she's like right there, say she just held the hatch up and you're crouch walking, I think she can hit you over this. So be careful on that one. This one, I think you might be okay, but I think she can still hit you over this one as well because the way the hitboxes work. It'd be hard. she have to be a close shave, I should say, but I think you still can get hit on that one. So if, that was, if this was the only thing in the area, that would be one of those scenarios where you'd sort of try to use this and then you would end up juking before going in. There's no point in juking this way because even if you juke this way, they can hit you through this. So if you're playing against Huntress or, or a projectile killer like that, I think it would best to be juke before going into the pallet. <laughs> Other than that, it's a pretty standard palette, whether it spawns here or it spawns here, but it, you would want it to spawn here if you're going up against projectile killers because you would have just the extra protection from this tile right here to be able to protect you. But this is definitely 100% a greetable tile, and I don't talk about pre-dropping much, but this would be a decent tile to pre-drop if you're in a dead zone because that would because what pre-dropping really does, people think pre-drop and then loop this tile. What pre-dropping really does and why they do it in comp is because if you drop this pallet and they run and they decide to try to loop it, when you're standing here immediately, this length is easily enough for you to make it to another tile, right? Because they're not just like from here to the other side, they're like the length of this entire around, right? They're all the way around this, not just standing up from here to there, right? And that's why if you pre-drop it and you start looping it, once you get to the far side, that's where you should leave. And that's when you can go to like here if you wanted to, right? This is not what you want to pre-drop. Never pre-drop this pal. This is one of the two best pallets in the entire map. Consistently is the best pallet on the en entire map, but there's another one that you can connect to the main window that's absurd. But just for the case of explaining why people would pre-drop and the benefits of doing so, that's why you would drop it. it, would be like right there. And then so you can make it to another tile. Not so you can loop it or so you can just like waste the killer's time. Obviously if they break the pallet you can, but if they even try to loop the pallet, you'll probably make it somewhere else. And then if you have other pallet that's thrown into space in the right direction, you can just dump from pallet to pallet. That's what will force them to break the pallet in the first place. If it comes to preachiness <laughs> as well. I'm trying to block line of sight. Damn it. I just gave him way too much. I should have ran away from this. Oh, fuck. I just hope it's not a tough tombstone. That would be the worst. <laughs> I 
Please don't have two, three. And I just get tombstone. I'm worried about him popping tier three and me being too far from the pallet for him to respect it. And let me just getting tombstone. That would be hilarious, though. It. No! Oh yeah, it's okay, nice. Does he respect it here? That was a long time. Oh! Double back! Can I get curved here? This will be hilarious. Alright, sorry. I'll go over here. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I don't know if I can get curved here. <laughs> but I didn't know if I was... Oh, fuck. I like jumped the gun too much on that one. That wasn't reactionary. It's better if it's reactionary. Oh god. No! Let me do this one. Let's do this one instead. I think I can get or does you want to do that one? Because I don't know if that one's possible. Oh my god, that's so steep. This one is possible though, I think. Well maybe not even this one. If you're like on top of your oh, oh fuck! I was like, unless you're on top and not on top of your positioning. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, shit! <laughs> I do like Melania, though. I think she's a good boss for the game. But I do also think it's cheap difficulty. But it's an optional boss. That's why I think it's good for the game. I know people are like, Melania ruined the game. I'm like, how? You didn't have to fight her. Oh, boo, they're gonna get a hit here. <laughs> good shit! That's good shit. Oh, fuck. They even threw through the skinnier one. See, so like, I'm afraid to jump literally anywhere, dude. I fucking hate this feeling. Oh. Oh, fucking hate it. Hate it, 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 hate it. Please don't have a fucking trap. Can I run these two together? Or is it too far apart? It's probably too far apart, right? Running shack is boring. I want to greet a pallet. Like this, ready? Oh, it didn't work. Yeah, it did! Just delayed reaction, the fuck? And I got that latency. Greet it again. Yes! I throw it down this time. Yes! <laughs> Loop this one now. Let me get curved hard here. He has the overdrive though. Overdrive is really hard. I kind of wish overdrive wasn't here. <laughs> oh, it was close. Can I get curved here? It's gonna be very close. Was so fucking close. I'm not gonna crouch. Oh god. Well, I'm definitely gonna get hit here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> not including that first week when Billy got changed and like four on the floor was like every game. <laughs> I think he actually just got messed up a little bit by the uh, overdrive there. I feel like he would have got it. Ah! Oh my god. I was gonna get hit there. <laughs> I'm reacting in time too. Just the oh fuck. No, that one was my fault. That one was my fault. <laughs> That's why I didn't get Natters on that one. Can you curve this? I'm a... Maybe I'll run the other side. Yeah, I'll run this side. No, I don't know. I think you can curve this one for sure, right? I'm gonna run something they can curve. I think they can curve this. Yeah! Good shit. I can't like go towards the middle either because the guy here. I have to loop this here. Loop it tight. And 
Uh, I can go somewhere. Yay! Okay. I get even farther because Claude's working on that gen. Yes! Back to this one. Good shit. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Read the pallet. Yes! I had to lure him over. Damn, good shit. I was like, I'm gonna not juke this. It... Damn it, didn't work twice though. Now we have the original four piece. Now this one is the one I think of most often when I think of messing with doctors or dredge because you can either have the pallet spawn here or the pallet can spawn there. This one's more consistent against projectile killers and more interesting as well because all parts of it have some type of thing that you can sort of game on and break line of sight. So even if you're coming around this corner, you could even crouch around here. If you're in urban invasion, that would be like super underrated. Then you can come over and then like juke the juke there and then come around this one. This one's harder as well. You got to make sure you do some crouches. But keep in mind that you have these other ones, especially against something like Doctor or Dredge because say I was going to loop this one here, right? And then Dredge puts the remnant then you can run behind the remnant because it's he's going to come out of the remnant facing the direction he was facing. And then he has to take into account that you're doing these ones or these ones. And same with Doctor. If I was running towards this one and Doctor shocks me and I come around and he goes to shock me again, you could just go to this one. And then in, if you're running to this and he goes to shock you again, you could just run to this one. And then if he goes to shock you again, then you run to this one. <laughs> and then he goes to shock you again and you run to this one. <laughs> And then he goes to shock you again, and you run to this one. It's just like, and he won't get bloodlust, so he won't really catch up that much. And he's not exactly denying a vault. You're just creating, making the loop longer so that the distance he loses from a shock is not really gained back. Because you're not being denied a vault and staying out there. That's why every time he shocks you, move on to the next one. If you're playing against it and he shocks you, never run towards the pal. You can even run to this one if you want. But it is a lot more fun to try to incorporate against Dredge and Doctor these tiles that don't even have the pallet just to make it seem even more naughty feeling. <laughs> That's like the whole fun of Survivor is getting is feeling like you're getting away with stuff and being like, ha, at least for me. But that's why the four I like this four piece more than the other four piece. It has the things that can break line of sight, which makes it more consistent against projectile killers, no matter which pallet you get, and you can mess around with the other killers that have slight anti-loops and getting from one place to the other. Other than that, it's just another standard tile that appears on the other McMillan maps. For a little bit, and then you see that. It's kind of like eye-opening. Oh shit. I got pretty lucky there. I'm gonna do this one. I feel like I'll get slapped here. Yes! Something worked. Didn't work that time. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here though. I'll work my way back. Dang it. I wanted to work my way back to this pallet. But now I'm kind of in a bind. Yay! Yay! Okay, now we got a lot luckier. We got super unlucky earlier, but now we're like, gotten extra lucky. We've gotten super lucky. He just got auto-aimed. That wasn't even him doing anything wrong. No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we got super lucky there. <laughs> like, are you, and then that shame rock into the other long wall. You're like, bro, this is garbage. So we're that, uh, oh my god, this is bad. That was my fault. Don't throw it. Can you make it? I can't make it anywhere. I literally have to fucking stay here. Mm, greet it. God damn it. I'm gonna grade an exam. My dad's a teacher. And he was like, they can watch Bummer 12 to be fine. And then me and my sister were like scared. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go. Back to this one. Because it's bigger and more fun. And greed it. Yeah, the greed. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it didn't work. Because there's really not much of a plot to begin with in those cases. It's not supposed to be. The plot's not what's important. It's like the the getting the times right. That is. Oh shit! I'm trying to go get the motherfuck. I'm sure of it. Dang. My cool crouch didn't work. I regret this day forever. Hit him with the crouched. Oh, boo. And then he hit me with it. Which one? This one. Oh, shit. Oh, my fucking god! <laughs> First try. All right, so here we got the Double Tree Rock. Now this one is a lot of fun against something like Huntress specifically. This is one of be the ones you find the most. Pretty sure you can get hit through this tree with a hatchet, so that, be aware that that is possible. If they're coming around, sometimes you can juke it. But a lot of times it's just worth running right through because that is a tough shot to hit, especially in the middle of a chase when you're looping tight. But if you're not looping Huntress, you'd want to loop this one instead because this right here gives you such big leeway. And then if you don't see them around here, it's wider than it looks, so they can't really like mind game you that much. But against projectile killers, it's a little bit too long coming around this corner if you're gonna loop this one because they can either hit you here or they're gonna be able to hit you there even if they don't even if you did greed the pallet. They could probably still hit you because of the length of the rock itself. But most of the time you're gonna be wanting to loop this rock instead, using this as a checkpoint, because you can see between that. And then same thing, you don't want to really want to stay here as much of a checkpoint. You can use it as a checkpoint for a little bit, but you really want to get past that to at least like here so you can see over that rock there and then get away with it, and then keeping both sides in the camera. But this right here, I'd say, is the checkpoint you really want to be looping at. This rock over here, you're not going to loop as much unless it's a projectile killer. If you're playing against a projectile killer, this rock's going to save your life. This is one of the best rocks in the entire map. So greet accordingly and stay on top of it, obviously moving your feet. And you can even tilt the camera down a little bit. If, uh, say, it's a huntress that's wearing a skin that makes her a little bit shorter, you can still probably see her that way to be able to get there. Now, Trickster, because he's 115, it might even actually be better to loop this one first until he starts hitting with knives and then loop into this one. Because 115, this is a pretty unsafe tile that you're asking to get hit on, it, at least eventually. Not saying it's not possible, but it's a very tough position to be on. Be in against a 115 killer. These are also the tile, the pallets that you sometimes can't see and when windows of opportunity can help even if you know the maps because you're if you're running from this angle you have no idea where it is but just know when you're running and you don't see pallets big rocks with trees if you see a tree attached to a rock that's a likely scenario where you're going to see a pallet especially if it's two rocks closer together got to keep the eyes out for those pairs of rocks trying to make scratch marks you can see here we go Oddly shaped tile. Yay. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, can she throw through that? You can! I'm gonna get nailed by this now. <laughs> oh god, I thought she was gonna go for it. Damn it. <laughs> To the point where it's world class and harder than pretty much anything you'd see it on Broadway recently. Tap dance wise, at least, like pure technique standpoint. Ah! Damn it! Got me with the big lunge. Yes! Mind game yourself. No, she didn't! Damn it! I should have stayed at that tile. Ow. 
No! Help me, Jake. You're supposed to help me, Jake. Damn it. I stood too far away to greet it, my dumbass. The fuck? Mm, damn it. He no respect. So this is another double tree rock, but this one has less of a safe checkpoint. You can see over it right here, but if it's, it's even in shorter kill, you're not going to be able to do much. If it's 115 right here, it's kind of a big dead zone here. Now, that makes it a much more fun palette to greed, but even one like this. If you're at a, a projectile killer, this is actually one of the best rocks in the entire game because you can see most of them coming over or underneath that. And they're 110s, so, and you have pretty good line of sight. So this is the opposite of the other double tree rock where the single tree rock actually is safer and in compensation, the other tree where it has two trees on it is riskier to compensate for it. That being said, I would still loop the double tree side of the rock against most killers, not projectile killer too much because it could probably hit you right there if they're close enough and committed to the m2 other than that pretty standard rock as well i do think huntress might be able to hit you through that as well slinger definitely can drickster definitely can so be aware of that as well This is bad. I'm going down. I guess not. <laughs> Somebody did me with the whip there. <laughs> All right, nice. This is a bad loop to go against Pig on, but. No! Oh! oh my god, that was close. This one's hard actually. For two reasons. It's hard for him because the curve is so fucking steep. Oh my god! He like actually got auto-aimed into the rock there. Oh fuck. No! <laughs> Uh, F, 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 I'm bad. Oh god, this is wider than I thought. No! She didn't respect last time. Going for the whip. I don't usually do that, but it felt necessary. Here we have the single tree rock that is the unsafe rock. This is probably the safest of the rocks in terms of how big it is because since it's so big and you can see through that and around that way, if you keep your feet moving, even if it's 110 killer that moonwalked, you can almost always react in time. You can see all the way over that as well. Sadako might be a little bit difficult because it's 115 and you can't see super high, but even then, you have enough space where if you're on top of your pathing, you would definitely be able to make it back to the town time. And if it's something like Hag, Hag's 110, so you would definitely be able to make it there in time as well. Now on this side, obviously there's like a little cubby here that you can use if it's a Billy and they're gonna try to curve you or something. If it's Billy and try to curve you, you could also get stuck here and then just go down anyway because they stopped their curve and they're staring at you and things like that. But this does exist, be aware of it. You can also use it to hide sometimes, but I don't really use that too often, I'll be honest. There are definitely plays that it can happen here, but I usually like to loop the rock normally. Now this is a great rock as well against projectile killers since you can see pretty much whichever way they're coming from. Right here, you can probably get hit. That's the only danger. But looping this one is so unsafe that you'd be asking to get hit by M1 anyway because it can throw like over this. So you can get hit over this whole thing in both ways. Pretty much almost no scenarios are you going to end up looping this rock. But there's exceptions to every rule, so I'm sure there's scenarios where I've looped that rock before. <laughs> so don't rule it out. And then it's Noed. 
<laughs> There's no play here. No, stop my toe. Yeah, it didn't matter. You should never loop this rock this way. All right, now that we've gone through the McMillan Estate filler tiles, let's go over the McMillan Estate big tiles. Big tiles would be like Shame Hill here that we're standing on, uh, Wood Pile, and Killer Shack as well would be good examples of this. So the first one I want to go over is the Shame Hill. Because the Shame Hill is pretty much completely pointless most of the time unless you have bounce landing or if it's close enough for you to be able to actually loop it. And if it's close enough for you something to be able to loop, you'd want it to be the back of the Shame Hill facing into a window so you could just jump right down and jump right into the window. Ideally, you would want something that is the perfect distance away that it gives you just enough momentum gain to be able to get the running vault that's when it's insanely strong actually it's a little bit strong if you come this way the thing is you'll end up in this mind game right here and if the killer comes up this way you still stagger and might not be able to get the running vault sometimes you can but that's why it's stronger when it's at the back instead of on the side if that's not the case you'll just get stuck up here sometimes and there's a really tough way for you to get down without staggering on this one you have to come down this way and run down over here and then come down that is like the only way to not stagger on these shame hills, and that is such a pain. The other ones, like on Azeroth, you can run right down the corner. This one, I admittedly just have to sit here and stare at him. Like, how do I get down this one? And then right there. See, I staggered. It is really hard, especially if you're being chased. So the shame hills on the McMillan maps, on the McMillan estate maps, are very pointless unless you have bounce lining or they're close enough to a tile for you to actually pull off because you have to run here and then basically towards the killer again just to not stagger. And I still staggered, you know? So most of the time, Shame Hill is just one big dead zone that you kind of want to see if you're playing as killer. And you definitely don't want to get hooked on. I want to use the uh, Shame Hill over here. Dang it, which way do we got to walk up? Ah, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Did we make this? Come on, medium. Yay. We got some value. Not enough, though. <laughs> this might have been a mistake, though. No! Oh! Gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. <laughs> Next up, we have Water Tower. Now, Water Tower is similar to Shame Hill and Wood Pile in that it's pointless most of the time unless you have another tile because you can see the killer over this. So you could run like one or two loops. So it's not as dangerous as the Wood Pile because you could stay here even and then see him still coming. And then this is actually a decent spot because you could do one or two loops and then push into this window if you really wanted to, even though it's far enough. But Water Tower, since the line of sight is big enough, it would allow you to be able to do that. Now, this is a great tile against Nurse specifically because you can see so much and she can't really see where you are, so she has to take a blind guess at where you are. There's very small points that Nurse can see you on this side, like here. And things like this doesn't help much either because say she was going to blink and she blinked and you got here and then she whiffed on that and that was say that was a second blink and you can make it back around the corner again. But the line of sight that you have on Nurse and the lack of line of sight for Nurse makes this a pretty darn good tile to use against Nurse specifically. Other killers, you need something connectable. Like this over here, it actually is close enough to be connectable, but you'd only get one or two laps on it to be able to do it. It's better if something's right next to it. Say you had like a, a long wall gym right there, and then you could loop like one or two, maybe even three times if the killer's not realizing that you're looping this big of a thing and they're not looping as efficiently as possible while you are. And when they finally catch up, then you would jump the window if it was like right here. But besides that, this is another just big dead zone that's pretty much pointless unless it's playing against Nurse. This would be a good example of the water tower actually where you could get some value running once or twice because this is right here is the only place they would be able to double back. And say you were looping as efficiently as possible but the killer was not, you get an extra vault around, or extra go around with this one. And then as they're working their way towards you then you can jump the window bang profit off the water tower he would do the same thing with the wood pile as well run to the square the crutch square damn it 
I wish I got that generous of hits when I was playing Nurse. The crutch square. I'm telling you guys, I don't know why, <clears throat> but I make Millen. This is like the best tile against nurses. I'm always saying that. And she left. I'm always telling people that. It sounds stupid, but this is like the perfect tile against nurse. So it'll hold W. Let's use the water tower and then try to get to that pallet. No, I'm nowhere near it. I went the wrong way. It's over here. They greet it. Yeah! Back to the water tower. We make it all the way around again. <laughs> water tower value! I know where the rock is this time. Yes! Mind game yourself. No, she didn't! Damn it! I should have stayed at that tile. I'm telling you, do one circle works the best. Read it. Can I make it around? Yes! The water tower value. Can make it around again? Oh, I can't. No! I <laughs> didn't fall for it at all that time. Oh my god, is this a long wall? Yeah! Oh my god! Oh, damn it, that sucks. Yes, we're lucky, she's on controller. She has to be, that's the only way. She set another trap. Can I make it all the way around though? Because she's 110. Because if you get a window there, it's the only way to get value off of this. Yeah, 110. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is the only way to get value off of this uh, this water tower. Is if you have a strong window in front of it, so you can loop the thing and then jump the window. Water tower. The water tower is hilarious. I'm not gonna make it there though. Nope. I can run it though. It's faster than me, though. Dang it. The water tower is like the best thing against Nurse. I have no idea why. But it is. She's still faster than me. She is! Oh my god! Hahaha! <laughs> She has two as well. What the fuck? I'm happy about it. The OG Mario movie or the new one? The new one. Okay, I'm the OG one was down. um four. <laughs> Next up, we got the wood pile. Now the wood pile is pretty unsafe for one of these big loops that you can just sort of run around because you have zero line of sight through the wood pile when you're on the side, so the killer can dull back at these points. And if you're in a dead zone, you're not going to make it anywhere anyway. And the whole point of the wood pile, you can see through this, but like I said, then you can go side to side. But at some point, if I, if I if you went over this way, while I'm running towards this way, you just gained a bunch of distance and I'm not going to make it anywhere. We would have actually this time because we have a pallet, but you can't guarantee that's going to happen every single time. So ideally, and this is especially true if you're on suck pit instead of suffocation pit, a lot of times you'll have the wood pile right next to the mid garbage and then you actually can connect the wood pile to something consistently. But even then it's not the safest thing in the world and you're never gonna connect the wood pile, jump the window and make it all the way back around to the wood pile unless they mind game themselves incredibly hard. And even if they did, they still might make it to you before you can make it all the way around this huge wood pile and then mine and then moonwalk back that way and then we're sort of in no man's land again. So the wood pile is probably the most pointless of the Macmillan estate big tiles, I'd say. But that's just my opinion. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they had to run the big, uh, the big freaking, what's it called? 
Can I get the log pit value? Yeah, log pit value! Can I make this? Yes! Need the log pit value. Need to double back here. He did not. Let's go. Extra log pit value. I come this way. Yeah, big old fucking logs. Look at this shit. <laughs> value! No, he don't wreck! No! Oh my god, what the F? It wasn't me, it was Fung. Mm, running. Log pit fucking value again. Can we get it? Oh yeah! He had a wiggle! Let me jump this one now. Ah! Oh shit. Need a little bag. <laughs> Fung! <laughs> Don't double back, please. Yes! Can I make it around this? Yay! The log pile of Alia. Ah! Fucking, I don't know where he is. Please don't be this way. Yay! Yay! Can I make it all the way around? No! Yay. I shouldn't have jumped. I should have juked. She missed a skill check. No! Ah! out there. I wanted to loop that. Oh god. I stubbed my toe. <laughs> Woo! How did I get value for that fucking thing? I don't know if that'll ever happen again. Yeah, get the X gates all you want, or you can fucking tunnel and bleed people out if you want. You can't get banned for any of that shit. That's fine. Do it. People are gonna get hate mail and shit for people. Yeah, the crowd's juke. Can I get another go around? I want to try to get value off of this big wood pile. That counts. I don't care. That counts as wood pile value. It's going in the looping guide. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me loop this shit. Think I won't? <laughs> That's why the suffocation pit sucks. Suffocation <clears throat> pit is so bad that you can get used at a huge fucking pile of wood just sitting there. Dang, he didn't swing. <coughs> <coughs> Oh god. No, I'm out of position. I've been wanting to loop this fucking thing. No! Damn, he didn't use his power. That sounds hilarious. Damn it. I couldn't juke it. Damn it. Oh, right, it's Killer Shack. I feel like we should all be able to identify this one by now. So, Killer Shack is really interesting now. There's one killer called Unknown that can actually, this is the first killer that makes you want to loop wide. But I'll be specific when we're talking about the Unknown, because it's like the major change about Shack and how to loop it. You'd really want to loop wide, not all the time, but when you're coming up to a corner is usually because it's much easier for them to place a shot right into a corner, that corner, that corner, especially, or that corner, if you're looping the back of Shack against Unknown. You'd want to loop this part a little wide. I know, and get to about here, right? It's because you can still see the, the doorway 
the entrance to shack over there on that side and you have a little bit extra distance so if he cuts in that way you can still come around this way to be able to get there possibly in time but with the new killer that's one of the only times where you don't want to loop shack as tight as possible i wanted to say that before we start looping shack because that has been and introduced to the game recently and it does add new mind games to shack but normally shack if you're going to play against a killer that doesn't try any mind games or anything like this then you're going to Come around there, they're gonna go around the long side or vault the window, push you around again. If they're really not gonna try any mind games, then you do it again. <laughs> Get your three vaults in there. They push you around the third time and come around the corner. And then you jump again and get your third vault. Now it's blocked. And tradition says, run now to the pallet and throw it. I'm telling you, you can greed this pallet harder than other pallets as well. If you have anything even remotely close, killers, I swear, they'll take their whole hands off their keyboard because it's such like a god pallet that they're just expecting you to throw out. They're already like hitting space bar and you're meanwhile you're on to next. Especially coming from this angle, sometimes you can get them to respect it just enough to try to get a swing on you and you can make the jump. That doesn't happen all the time, but a lot of times you can be running into this pallet and they can respect it, which will even make this mind game possible for them to double back, which might give you enough space to either make it around to that window again. Most of the time it won't, but at least make you to another tile without having to throw a shack pallet, especially if it's like five gens and you haven't even been hooked yet. But the checkpoints you'd really just want to keep in mind with shacks, the most important checkpoints is this one right here and this one right here. When you're running this way, make sure your camera is the first thing to come around in case the killer vaults because you don't want to get caught all the way out here and the killer vaulted. And you also don't want the killer to be able, and same thing here, you don't want to get caught here and like all the way out here and then the killer vaulted and you're too far so make sure your camera is the first thing to come around when you're playing shack on this specific wall another mind game you have to look out for that that checkpoint specifically helps i do this a lot when i'm playing killer when i vault the window and then when i go to push to the side and the survivor's running i know they're thinking about it because a lot of times you catch them out of position with the vault like they're running that way and then you vault in and you know they're they're scrambling because they're trying to path as efficiently as possible and then you moonwalk back this way back this way and then into this way and that's when they're kind of caught here and they're like uh oh because they're focused really hard so that checkpoint here also does the same thing when you see them there and you can just get away from the tile or go back to the window as well now my favorite place to really initiate shack no matter which pl place you run from like say we went from that direction we won the mind game we just jumped the window and then they double backed and then run out to here this i think is the safest checkpoint for shack to start because you can see through the broken broken window right there it used to be another window when the game first came out it was hilarious two windows in shack that was a great time for killers but when you're standing here at this checkpoint you can see them coming around the long way you can see them coming around from the pallet whether they moonwalk or not and you can see them coming through that door so right here i think is the safest because if they push you around this way you have enough distance to initiate shack right where it was going to be right you can look through there to see if they double back because if you don't see them and they hadn't double back you can even leave shack or, or initiate chase again by running that way but that's why i like it, it has all the checkpoints and if not if worse comes to worse you're just in the beginning of shack again now if they push you the other way and you're over here and they push from that way i think the ideal way to do it is not go into shack but run on the outside of shack because that maximizes the time we had and if you don't push around that way we can get back on this one standing here as well in case we need to get that running vault keep in mind that when you get running vaults you don't have to run like a straight line and then a straight line you want to path as efficiently as possible and you can get a running vault by running at an angle so the most efficient path as possible is running oops and then i can get the running ball <laughs> but the most efficient path possible is running at an angle at the window just like that i didn't get the running vault that's actually a good example to show why i didn't get the running vault because of the momentum system i didn't get my momentum back up in time whereas if i was running there and then got it you would have gotten it with the same amount of distance that's another reason momentum is important but you can run from here to here that was a running vault and that is so much more efficient of a running vault then running out here to out here to out here. That being said, you don't want to rule that out either because sometimes you're just trying to get more line of sight of the killer. So you're going out a bit wider to give yourself more time to react. And same thing if you're getting pushed in this way, you can, there's a few techniques you can do. I like to keep my feet moving, but if you're going to come in this way, and the reason I don't like to risk this is because if they moonwalk in, sometimes you don't have enough time to actually make it to the window and that's why a lot of times the moonwalk i like to go to this one because if worst comes to worst you at least have the pallet to either mind game or throw and you don't want to get caught in the scenario where you just jump it and then they mind game and then you medium vault back in to them moonwalking back in where they went out this way and then you double vault and then they come back in and hit you and you're not gonna be able to make it anywhere that mind game specifically is why i would rather just keep my feet moving and go this way and to avoid that and give us a little bit extra time in case that doesn't happen if i'm running in this way and they go out back i run extra wide a little bit keeping in mind as i just said that you can hit the running vault from an angle because if it really is and i'm out of position and i don't want to throw shack and i'm say i'm about here and then i see the moonwalk back in i might still be able to get that running vault in time and that's why i like to run around this corner a bit wide because it gives you just extra time to sort of react in time and then jump 
or not jump if you need to. Another thing to think of with shack specifically is if you have a generator in shack, and this works on like any map, it adds an extra thing you can do against Huntresses and like Wesker specifically, because Wesker forces you into that scenario where you gotta make a quick decision, which puts you at the biggest risk of getting that thing where they go out this way and then moonwalk back in because they can fling across the thing and beat you to the pallet as well. But it's a huge advantage to have the generator in shack. Makes it a little bit harder to running vault in all scenarios, like from that way or this way. But it gives you that extra option with them and projectile killers as well because you can juke that and then you have the actual generator itself to sort of loop around to either reset the chase or kill her out of their power so that you can vault the window or throw the pallet. But just keep that in mind that if you have the generator here, that is something else that you can incorporate into the chase. They're moaning. <laughs> Yay, the fucking... The Volter Vite. I missed what the fuck. <laughs> he missed too. <laughs> that was funny. Yes! Yes! I jumped this one. Yes! <laughs> what an epic shack chase this ended up being. <laughs> oh god, turn around. Oh my god, I definitely go down here. He's too close. Yes! No! I shouldn't have done. Read it. Yes! <laughs> oh god. I won't make it! No! <laughs> I'm gonna sneak behind him. That'd be funny. He did the 1v1 shack thing. <laughs> Run the other way! Oh fuck. The overcurve. Oh shit! I didn't want him to see me. Yes! Looping tight. The corner attack. <clears throat> fuck, did I fuck up? <laughs> Jump the window. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> He's like, no, you fucking asshole. Use the, <laughs> the generator that shouldn't be there. Yes! 
<laughs> oh, fuck. Does he go back through? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, he might go back through the shit. Go run back. We'll never expect it. Oh, shit. I am armed with extra shit that shouldn't be here in Shag. <laughs> yes! No! See, that would have hit me. That's why I say I am armed with extra shit that shouldn't be here. The generator and the hook <laughs> both saved me multiple times. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> no! <laughs> the last game I bought was Super Mario Wonder, and I haven't played it yet. I bought it for my nephews. <laughs> It's just like, my sister's, uh... <laughs> oh god. The back of Shaq. Dude, snowball! I missed. <laughs> oh, this again! Damn it. I got hit. Oh, God. Think I won't pre drop. Ha <laughs> ha! Teabag like I'm super skillful. Let them know how bad they were by falling victim to a pre dropped God palette. Give me. Oh! Uh, that was good shit. He helped body block there. Or else I would have been got. Uh! Oh god, good shit. I got lucky. I think he accounted for me trying to juke. Please don't double back. Please don't double back. Oh god. I won't even get Iridesa 1. <laughs> That's what happened before. No! Knocked back to Killer Shack again. Oh god. Yay, I'm lucky! I don't know why I didn't get hit there. Buskeru's hitbox usually feels like I would get hit there. Dang it. Why are my snowballs not- Oh, because I have an item! Fuck! Wait. Fuck! No! <laughs> I never ran through! <laughs> Run in the back. Oh god. Yay! I hear Claire moaning. Yay, the fucking I'm the train. generator I'm tech. Running. I've never had it. I've never been. <laughs> that was really funny. Man, I haven't touched Jen this whole game. <laughs> Yay! Jump the window. Oh my god, she's fucking legend. How did she even do that? Where do I go from here, though? Tree tech. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yes! And pre drop with all my. No, he's too far to pre drop. 
God damn it. Cursed also streams. Oh, let me follow Cursed too. One second. Into back of shack. <laughs> oh god, and I stubbed my toe. God, I literally could not see here. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I don't want to loop the shack. Shack boring. Oh my god, medium vault. I am lucky as freak. I should have got. <laughs> Oh god. Yay. I took a big risk there, but it paid off. And that brings us to the main building. <laughs> Suffocation Pit's main building is absurd. This has little to no counterplay from a lot of the killers. <laughs> and when you combine it with Suck Pit, it was just Suffocation Pit number one, you basically have all those tiles in the middle. This just ends up being one of my least favorite maps possible to play on Killer. But let's get right into it. Before we get into specific tiles and then incorporating them all together, let's get into the smaller tiles. Like this one over here. This one's always going to be here. This palette seems like just your typical palette, essentially. And it is, but this palette you really only want to use when you were forced and say it was three vaults already or the killer forced you around a different way and you're at this corner of the main because that's where you're kind of screwed and don't have anywhere to go whether you have that window or you have the other window and what you really want to use with this palette you can pre-drop it if you want i think it's more fun to try to greet it because if you greet and they went around that way you can use the distance made to not run this because if you jump this window here they could just go in that way and then we just lost all the distance we just got but to make it back to this palette that's why i think that palette over there exists because otherwise, this is just a pallet in the middle of nowhere, right? And it's consistent. This is not a McMillan Estate common pallet. This is only here on Suffocation Pit, this minecart pallet. And it's always in the same spot. So that's what you really want this for, to reset the chase. Don't just throw this pallet, especially if you're not even looping, if you're, like, running from over here. I would honestly rather eat this down, because if you're going to get tunneled and the window's blocked and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can try to... Get to this pallet to either greet or pre-throw, and then if they go around, then you can make it back to this pallet, which you can either greet or pre-throw, and then you might be, have wasted enough time where now that window's unblocked, and now you can jump it again. So, these three pallets on the main building are so strong to never throw. That one over there is the one you would want to throw because you'd want to connect it, but that's more being tunneled around Deathhook because it forces them to break the pallet, which would reset the chase back to square one at a really strong main building. This is definitely one of those main buildings where you want to be tunneled on. And that doesn't even talk about this pallet over here, which is another oh crap pallet, essentially. But basically, you just don't want to throw any of these three pallets. This one, because you can connect to that window, and these are always going to be there. That one there, that one over here, because this one can fix your dead zone and connect you to that one so don't throw this if you're not looping the main building essentially then this one here which is easily the strongest of the three if you have this window because it's a 50 percent chance whether you get this window or you get this window over here which is the one we got this time they're both incredibly strong so it's a win-win and i really don't have a preference on which window that i like more i think this one might be stronger but is also weaker if they're pushing you this way but then also gives you more from the pallet value but the pallet you can connect right to that window so it's literally just a win-win no matter which one you get. So if you're going to save pallets on the map, which I always recommend, don't throw any of these three pallets unless you're incorporating it to the main building. Or if you're on Deathhook and they're going to get you to the main building, that obviously helps. But if you if you have a chance where you're just like, say, doing a generator here, don't just like loop this pallet and then throw it, especially if you're healthy. <laughs> that's a terrible idea. Because now if you get tunneled after that, that's complete dead zone and the killer can just end up pushing you that way. No, it's fake too. Ah! <laughs> Greed the pallet. Mm, yes. It worked. Read it again. Swing. Oh my god, I guess not. I hate throwing pallets, but I have two here. I'm not gonna make this. 
No, I wanted him to crash. That would have been sweet. I should run in the next one. I might not make it, but. Yes. Damn. <laughs> I tried to greet it. There we go. There's the charp. There's another one. Yeah! Can't believe that worked. Greet it. I'm not gonna make it anywhere. I get here. Let's go. I get even farther because Claude's working on that gen. This pallet will also be here every single time. And this pallet, despite being very large and pretty safe, killers a lot of times will think you're getting back to the window. So you can either force them to loop this here or they can greet it and you can make it around the corner and still make it to this. I've never gotten that running ball. I don't think it's possible, but it could be possible and I'm just bad. But with this pallet specifically, you want it with this window or you want to use this pallet with this window because if they're pushing around this way, this is definitely enough distance to get the running vault easily. And it's the right side. The killer would have to go all the way around this way and then start the chase back over. So say you weren't going to make it around again. You were already running around this way and going out that way and jumping that window. And you weren't going to make it all the way around again. That's when you would use this pallet to sort of loop around. And you could either push back into it this way once they're on the right side. Or if they're looping you this way, as I just said, you can just get the running vault right into it. Got to make sure they commit to the one side or the other. That being said as well as this pallet, if you're being tunneled, what I was saying earlier, if you say you were getting hard tunneled and you weren't even in chase yet, it's a great pre-drop actually, if, especially if you're on death hook, because if you weren't in chase yet, they have to go and they don't break it. They have to go all the way around that way, which will get us to here again. And then we can just jump the pallet. So if we come all the way around this way, we go in again. And just jump it again. Easily connectable to that window. Same thing if they're pushing us this way. It doesn't even matter which way they're pushing you. We jump this, they have to go around the long way. Then we come in here. I do not think I've ever gotten that running ball, I will say. I do think it's possible. It's just most of the time you don't even need to. To, to be honest. And most of the time I'm just taking my pathing short, as short as possible, which results in me taking the medium vault. But I wouldn't rule it out. It is something to sort of work towards. I've just never been in the scenario where doing it was absolutely necessary. Because running around like that, like running around that wide, most of the time if I'm getting chased, you just run right into this way and just jump right into it. Because most of the time, you'll have a big enough start where you didn't even need to. But that's why this pallet, you want to save unless you're either getting tunneled to throw or leave it up to greed to be able to reset the chase back to square one with either of the windows. No! <laughs> this is Adam right next to me. No, she's not. Instead. I don't like action movies that much, admittedly. But I like sci-fi. I just figured this out. Like, recently. Because sci-fi is, like, there's a lot of action in sci-fi, but for some reason I like sci-fi. But I don't like, like, action movies. Like, I'll never go out of my way to see... Yes! I totally forgot. No! Oh. Thank you, everybody. Just changed my mic. I don't know where he put traps, though. This 
sucks. I would not make that again. I can't think of anything where... Here we go, I gotta turn this thing around. Yeah. Turn around again. Yeah, that's why you greet it. I should have got hit there. Damn. I want to do benefit. What the fuck? I fucked up. Damn. Oh my god, that was lucky. I have nowhere to go though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Every fucking one of them. No! What the fuck is this? Yes. Damn. <laughs> I tried to greet it. The third pallet you can get over here is, I call this the main O-penis, and we call them O-penises because, this is a joke, we went to say that like the tallness of this is was very tall, but I said the O-penis of this is of this setup is is huge or something, so naturally I heard it was O-penis, and I would just call it an O-penis. But this is here every single time. Now you're either gonna have this door here, or you're gonna have the door there. If you have the door here, then the O-penis is even stronger. But you don't need the door there or there. Like, you can literally just have this by itself. And it's, I like this every time, so don't ever throw this pallet. Because no matter which way the killer is pushing you, you can still get the running vault safely. You gotta make sure you game it right, obviously, because they can. if they know you're gonna do that, then you do it that way. And because of this, I would recommend looping this once or twice by itself so they think you're just gonna greet it because a lot of times if you greet this and go right towards the window they might not even chase you there or they'll play it differently knowing you're going for the window and if they're going for the window like they're playing it like they're going for the window then in your head just go back like fine I'm just gonna loop this tile by itself again and then just game it like this and then you have to sort of keep it in your head where like if they're if they're guarding the window they're resetting chase over and over because of the momentum system as I was talking about earlier unless they get bloodlust and then by the time they actually hard commit around one way or the other even if you went that way you can get the running vault specifically this way easy running vault now, this is probably like the easiest way to, initi to initiate chase, especially if you're being chased from this side, because this is such an easy vault. I wouldn't even look backwards on this one, because if you're looking backwards, they might think you're going to greet it, and then you might miss your running vault. But even though it's a straight line, because we all make mistakes, but this one, don't even look backwards. Just run right at it and jump the window. And it's going to be there every single time. And you want to use this specifically after your three vaults on this or that or up. But we're going we're gonna to get to that in a second. Another little detail I want to say about this, because obviously you're not going to loop this one. You're going to loop this one if it's a projectile killer. And if they threw the projectile, then you can loop back in and jump the window, which is a funny play you can make. But you'd want to loop this side if it's a projectile killer. Plus, they can throw through that, so be aware. So it's not safe completely, but it does make it tougher on the killer. And the last thing I want to say about this setup here and connecting the two is be careful when you do go to jump the window, especially if you're running through this side right here. Don't panic and start hitting it because they do overlap. The pull down with running vault, you see how it's consecutively shown. You can definitely, I've made this mistake before, you can definitely run up and when you're intending on jumping the window and getting the running vault, instead of doing that, you just did that instead and then wasted the pallet. You Oh my god, dude. I tried to jump the window and it sucked me back into the pallet. You might still get the running vault, which is cool, but you could have gotten the exact same running vault without throwing the pallet. So this pallet is definitely a pallet of do not ever throw this pallet. It's an unsafe pallet anyway. So even if you threw this pallet, it might cut, especially coming from that direction, it might cut off your, your momentum enough to be able to make it to there. 
and you can sort of figure eight this as well if you're going about this way and then the killer goes like you don't even have to jump this if you want to commit to the pallet then you can come around this way as well and then if the killer mind game itself you can switch back to this rock as well because it'll be in their head once you get one vault off of this one but that's why you need the pallet there specifically because if the pallet is there specifically they have to game around the pallet and the window if the pallet's thrown and broken then you're just trying to game around this rock and they know exactly which way you're going to go which makes it much harder to get the running vault since you're going to have to do it blind or risk them double backing and you getting hit but that right there is there every time and don't throw it just don't throw it and mainly you're going to want to incorporate this into the main building anyways now what you really want to use this window in for the most part is say you were getting pushed either direction. Let's say we were going this way first time. We run this way, and that was the third vault. Let's say now that window is blocked, and we're pushing around this way. He's still chasing us, and then we can come this way. You'd literally just hold straight to get to this O-penis, and even if you weren't going to get to the O-penis, you could cut in this way and either make the vault, which would for because if you make the vault and he goes around that way, you can just path wide. So say you make the vault and he even goes around that way, you can still path wide this way. And now we're at this anyway. And if he doubles back, you can completely reset the chase. Because say I went over here and he doubles back. If he doubles back, now we're this far away from each other, which would either give me time to reset back to this wall, which he can't mind game around. And if we could bide enough time that way at with this one, or even doing the O penis, bide some time there. Say we made our jump this way and say he goes around that way, we might have that window back opened up. So if you have this window, you wouldn't want to vault this here, but this would be the perfect scenario I'm talking about where you'd use this pallet to, if, if it was still standing, to either if he pushes you around this way, turn the chase right back around and now you're running at the right direction again. Or same thing if you push around this way and you push right back here, run in the right direction again. So basically you want to get your three unmined gameable vaults, no matter which direction you're running. And then once that's up, you want to use this. Like I said, you can either get them to double back or jump it and, and loop it and reset and try to bite as much time as you can here to then go back and loop the main window again. Oh, so close. Almost. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Ah! I want to leave. I want to stay here. How about leaving? And jump the window. <laughs> Nice. That was good shiz. Good shiz back here. <laughs> Only M! Was that the Oni? In that last game? Oh shit. Oh, it's so close! <laughs> oh god. The fucking tree. Does it go and jump the window anymore? <laughs> oh shit. I fucked up. No! Oh, I really fucked up. This is bad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he slid it hit the curve. I want it. This is fun. Oh, damn! They got me. It should be. Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> Greed pellet. Uh, 
Bum, 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 <laughs> pallet, or uh, snowball. Oh fuck, you got more snowballs. I don't have any more snowballs. No! Oh, I was gonna get hit there. Ah! That was gonna get hit there too. Meg, to it. I have no more, I'm jealous. Read it. No! <laughs> yes! Because of that, I get out. Because she has this door open over here. No, she doesn't! I don't know the other door. I don't know where it is, actually. It's over here. If I path properly, I might have made it, but I'm not. Because I didn't path properly. Did I run behind the zombie? Oh! It's so close. Why do they always move, dude? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Chad Billy Man. Oh my god, that would have been impressive as fuck. He's like, really? You're gonna run this fucking loop? Yep. I could run this one. I'm sorry, Billy. <laughs> and here we go again. Oh God, good shit, Claude. Yes! We make it back around to the same one. It's not bamboozle, let's go. Oh damn it. Not gonna make it. Could've thrown the pallet, but. Oh god. Yay. We can get to the other side. This rock instead. God damn it. Dude, my pathing is so off, man.
to the O penis. Oh, she left me. I should have ran back the other way. Oh god, this is terrible. Oh no! He was trying to help me. <laughs> <laughs> he had a weak hole. I think he gets me actually. I thought he was going to get me. Nip it. What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. He was like blight throw up in his mouth. I always say I'm gonna do it, but I never do. Cause I don't have the skill. I'm there to use this. I did not. Grab it. No! I should have thrown it. Dang it! Didn't work. Throw it down. Yes! Oh my god, dude. I tried to jump the window and it sucked me back into the pallet. Damn. Yes! <laughs> yes! I could show the editing better in the other ones, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, do something like that. Does he have his power? Read it. Damn. Damn. That was lucky. Ah. No! <laughs> this is the next looping god I'm doing. I want to run the main. I'll loop here. Oh god! That leaves us with the main building with the two windows. The two windows you can get on this main building are this one, which we'll talk about a little later, and this one right here, which we'll talk about right now. This one right here was the first one I ever guess noticed was overpowered, and it's kind of intimidating, I suppose, looping right above where basement could be, because if basement spawns down here, it's one of the strongest basements in the entire game, since it's so much lower than a regular basement, because the stairs would start, like, here, and then it'd go down and around the corner, so you have to come up from a huge choke point. Yes, you're in the main building, but if the killer was anywhere near this vicinity, everybody's pretty much screwed. <laughs> so be aware of that. Also with this window is you want to loop as tight as possible without falling. Because you can loop this really tight where you're basically one foot on the edge. But then you fall if you get way too close. So be careful when you're looping this one while looping as tight as possible. But you're going to jump that one. Very safe window. And they're going to push you around. You even have checkpoints here to see if they double back. Because if you don't see the, the, the uh, red stain there, then you come here, you can see around the corner of the double backed. And then you might even be able to break chase and get into this window again, which would be amazing. One thing I will say that you want to be careful of is this little piece of rope. I don't know what it is with this piece of rope, but it has like the funkiest hitbox in the world. Where like, you see how Steve is like stuck here and like how he sort of glitched into it. He like shakes for a second and it's like lagging. I don't know what they did right here, as you can see, but it's literally always like this. Look how weird this is. Like, and it's like glitching kind of. He's doing like this weird, like, oh. shaking thing. Now I just jumped in the air. You see what I'm saying? Like, this this is like the weirdest hitbox in the world. So when you're coming around this one, don't be afraid to loop that one a little bit wide. I've looped tight and gotten stuck on this thing way too many times. And that ended up being the reason I went down. One time, it was literally the reason I was getting 
chased by an own rail and I was condemned and I wasn't sure if I was going to make it anyway, but this definitely didn't do me any favors. And then to add insult to injury, when I'm coming around the corner, I had another teammate right there that could have helped me take a hit and didn't. That was really funny. No, they threw the ballot already. Help me, help me, help. Oh God, I got stuck on nothing. Bruh is right in front of me. You could have taken a hit, man. But at the same time, it all started with this right here. I might not have needed that teammate to take a hit in the first place, but I got stuck on this teeny little piece of rope, which is ridiculous. It's like one of the glitchiest pieces of any map in the entire game. But yes, basically when you're coming around this corner and you're coming this way, you can stay, you can even see through that window. So it's like impossible to mind game. And that's what makes this so strong. Cause even if you're coming this way, they can't mind game. They can't double back because of all your checkpoints, you can stay in here and even see them. And if they're coming around that way, you can just jump the window again. Like literally every corner here is a good checkpoint. You could stand here even, wait for them to either go around or vault. Then you can keep going here. You can see through right here. You can literally, there's just like no possible way for the killer to double. You can even see through the walls a little bit on that one. So you can even see if they double back there. You don't even have to make it to here. You don't, even, you don't have to make it to here in the first place. You can just stand right here and see through that if you really want to. You can take your camera up. You can see through there. Like this is just one of the most unmined gameable main buildings in the entire game. He is an absolute monster. <laughs> A huntress was AFK. <laughs> I was all spooked. Oh fuck! Now I'm spooked. They vaulted. Running this way. I was like, maybe they try to huntress hatch at me. Haunted grounds. I want it. This is fun. Oh, now they got me. No! I got stuck on nothing, literally.
<laughs> She's still vaulting. No, Adam! Is she going? Oh, she is. No! <laughs> this is Adam right next to me. No, she's not. Oh my goodness. So this will block, uh, won't it? Oh my god. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out! Holy shit! No, she gave up! No, she got stunned! That was close. No!
You got the wrong guy. It wasn't me, I swear. He's Walter White. Why did I run so wide that time, boo? How not to run this building. Walter White, one more time with feeling. Hey, greet it. Does that buy me enough time? Look at that. <laughs> And then he leaves. He had me blocked, and then he leaves. What did you do that far? Yeah, here we go. I'll run you this way. Damn, you're supposed to swing, buddy. It's gonna unblock soon, right? Or am I just dumb? That's what I thought. <laughs> no, stop my toe. That loop tight enough. Dang, wasn't gonna throw it down. I don't think I would have been able to throw it down anyway, to be fair. And go space. Got the duck peg. Yeah, when nurse is super good, it's uh, it's pretty harsh. Or the four slug nurses, those are pretty harsh. <laughs> Need double back here? They didn't. Surprised they didn't chuck the hatchet. I ran a little bit too loose here. It's blocked now. I think she can throw over this rock though. Oh my god, I fucked up. Thrown it. I was about to say, I was surprised he didn't jump earlier. No, <laughs> it screwed him over. He went to hit the door and it didn't let him. Bruh. Oh, let, I did let him, okay. Loop with friends. <laughs> we got here. We go again. Yes! <laughs> See that fucking crouch juke? <laughs> the teeniest little fucking thing. <laughs> that was the babiest crouch juke ever. Come to me, I'm not even running it the super efficient way. I'm experimenting. Go for it. Damn it, he didn't. I fucked up my head start though. I kinda wanna start it over. Unless he vaults, what the fuck? I thought 
thought he would break the window. Maybe I'll switch to the other side. Can I make this? I can, interesting. He is vaulting. Good shit. You're in this. <laughs> I want to loot that back window. Did I make anywhere? I don't think so, right? Or am I just going to go down? Yeah, headshot. I think I'm just going to go down. Oh, God. He got fucked over by the video game. That weird hitbox thingy that's there. Wait. Yeah, headshot! <laughs> Is the pallet back here? It should be. Oh god. Yes! Greed pallet. Uh, <laughs> pallet. Or, uh, snowball! Oh fuck. You got more snowballs. I don't have any more snowballs! No! Oh! I thought I was gonna get hit there. Ah! I thought I was gonna get hit there too. Back to it. I have no more, I'm jealous! Greet it. No! Oh! <laughs> Probably should have stayed at the window, I suppose, right? But I didn't want to lose too much ground. Because I lost ground. Where do you go from there? I get hit here. Yeah, let's go. Throw it. I get hit. Ah, let's go. Window blocked. That's why I threw it that last time. Dang it. I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm not. Let's go. I don't think I make the pallet again, though. Hmm. Where do I go now? No! Let's go. Damn. Damn. Extra damn. <laughs> Here we go. I think he gets me, actually. I thought he was going to get me. Damn, I knew I should have faked it. Good shit, mate. <laughs> Dang. I totally forgot. No! Oh. Thank you for everybody's changed my mic. Uh, I think I know. <laughs> I got to. I got to change it for the whole game. Oh my god. Every fucking one of them. 
No! It's gonna be me! Like, will I make it around the corner? I did, I did make it around the corner. Will I make it to this? No, I won't. I'll have to hope he messes curve up. Yay! <clears throat> You get an M1 here. You show sure did. I should have ran the other way, but this way you get the running ball. I don't think I make it around again. That's why I should have ran the other way. Did you make this? No, he doesn't. It's not blocked. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it should have been blocked there, right? Why didn't it block? I will say once these survivor guides are finished, I will probably be a killer main. Like, through and through. Yes, I was lucky. Because when I'm playing Survivor, I'm always like... Yes! We got the reeds. And I won't lie, playing Nemesis helped me there. Because I was thinking from her point of view, like, what would I be doing this if I was playing Nemesis? You push him one way, then you throw the other way with the whip. Sometimes you get it. Oh, good shit. Oh, no! That was good shit. They pre-swung. I've been working on these guides, but these guides are long as fuck. That last guide was like an hour and a half long. This guide is like an hour and 45 long. And I want to get in the habit of uploading like once a week, even if it's even if I'm not done with the guide, like make another video. Because my editing's better than I can show really in those guides. You know what I mean? I can show the editing better in the other ones, and that's what I'm talking about. Like do something like that. Does he have his power? Nice. I don't think I make it anywhere. And greed the pallet. Mm, yes. It worked. Read it again. Swing. Oh my god. I guess not. <laughs> gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. <laughs> Oh god. No. God damn it, I did the wide turn. He's waiting to get his power back, yeah. I can't do anything. Oh god. I got way too fancy for my own good. I thought he saw me already. I don't know if he actually saw where I went. It's not the vial though. Or the vial's the annoying one, right? I can't even remember which one's which. It's better to run this way. It is, I think. I'm not in chase yet, which is nice. Can I make it around again? Oh god. Did I make it around again this time? I think so, right? Run the main now, run the main now. Where is he? Oh no! Damn it. I lost him. I didn't see which way he went.
<laughs> Gotta get in the pictures. This ghost face, like the best Mori to bomb. <laughs> you just double back at one point and I'll be fudged. Ah, just like that! Oh, it's too far! If I had this window, I could make it. He would have to respect, like, way harder and then he did. On the map, if you threw a grenade, you were, like, bound to hit a teammate. <laughs> so dumb and hilarious. There you go. He did go that way. I was hoping I'd be able to vault it again this time. Yep, here we go. Damn. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's hilarious. Can I vault this yet? No. I might actually might have been able to if I had like the big balls and just ran at it. Damn. That was lucky. Bum 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 bum. On my part, I should have got hit there. Damn. I want to do benefit. What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. It was like blight throw up in his mouth. <laughs> N-word. I suppose he's calling all of us the N-word. Oh god. I'm lucky you have a pallet here. I do. Then you get West Korea hitboxed. Not exactly. That wasn't a hitbox to complain about. You already pre dropped, what the fuck? Loop this rock instead. God damn it. Dude, my pathing is so off, man. I was thinking that. I'm like, ooh, let's try to. Can I make this? It's gonna be close. Damn it. I wasn't teabagging. I was trying to crouch in case he uh, went for the whip. I could crouch underneath the whip. Does the whip help me here? Damn it. I should have ran straight towards the Palais. He's probably a really good Wesker because he tried the Wesker tech. And I would have gotten annihilated by that. Please don't double back. Yay, I got the vault without being in chase. Does he have Boozle now? That would be hilarious. He does boozle, sucks. But it is hilarious, admittedly. Can I make it? I don't think so. Oh, that was so close. Main humping.
Here's the trap. No trap, what the fuck? Am I not in chase? Oh my god. There we go. There's the charp. There's another one. Yeah! Can't believe that worked. Greet it. Is a tarp on this side or the other side? What the F? Where did they put the tarp? Oh god, I jinxed it. I think that's what's happening. Ah! <laughs> Did he have bamboozle? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I didn't get a tape, luckily. Dang it, I wanted to get lower purpose tunneled. I was in the perfect fucking position. I don't really care. Oh god. I mean, if you're too laggy and it bothers you, then I suppose. Not really. I want to be like, no, you're not allowed to play with me. Did they like change Hag's tear radius? What the F? No, before it was the first one in the series because I didn't know it was a series. But the first one was one on sale, the other two weren't, so I only got one. But it was super highly rated, and they were like a very mature romance thing. I expect it not to be mature like porn, basically. Damn it. <laughs> Bamboozle. Oh, good shit. That was going to be fun, though. Oh, God, there she is. She came from the other way. I thought the TV was on the other side. Did she double back here? No, she doesn't. No, I have no. This is Sedge, though. Oh, God. Go to TV over here. Oh, God! Damn it. Damn it! Oh my god, I fucking stubbed my toe, it was terrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hit here. Oh! Yes. Like literal 50,000 hour swifts, uh oh. This is bad! They probably should have sat on gens. Instead. No! I'm gonna take the... No! And now I'm main humping again. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Did he double back? He did, good shit. I was worried. I was worried about good shit. I was worried about the bamboozle play here, and then you run into plague. That was the funniest shit. 
Oh god, he's right here. What the fuck? That sucks. We're right at main building though. I literally had the distance on him. I thought he was on the outdoor. Oh my god, he has double speed. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it anywhere. I get here. Let's go. I get even farther because Cloud's working on that gen. Good shit. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, I will. Swing. Let's go. Pick the perfect time to leave that one. That was lucky as fuck. Am I give me a bloodlust though? No, he didn't. Interesting. Good shit, Claude. We got a super lucky fucking speeding up, dude. I can't fucking move. I'm not the one acting a fool. Oh my god. How the fuck did that work? It wasn't me, it was that fucking guy. Yay, thank you. Okay, and that leaves us with the side window, because we already went over the main window, and we were it's kind of hard to talk about this main building without talking about the main and the side, since they loop so similarly. But with the side window, it's just as strong as the main building, it's just the difference is this one right here. This one right here becomes an even stronger pallet, because even from this way you can get the, you can get in there. And you don't even have to try for the running vault if you don't want to. If you're coming around this way, and the killer respects it, you can just hug right in and get that. Now it's better to try to get the running vault if you want to because you're gonna risk less so if i was coming around this way and they respected it you could just run right here and then right in as a medium vault for the third consecutive time but that's when you're just trying to be as efficient as possible because if they agreed the pallet no matter what you don't even have to get the running vault getting the running vault is good pathing wise but if they agreed the pallet even if they just stop for a second and not go all the way around you're probably going to make it back to this one and that's just if they're pushing you that way if they're pushing you this way it's even easier you have to wait for them to commit once you see them commit to you being about right here and once you're right here and they're on this corner here like not further past even further past you might still make up but if they're like even around this corner area like here they're not gonna be able to double back and get you in time with the running vault it would take them too long so if they're pushing you this way you can still use that right you wait for them wait for them wait for them and then go and get the running vault and now we're back to square one and with this window it's the same as the other window you run in this right here is a bigger danger because you want to loop as efficiently as possible but you don't want to fall down like this you want to loop as tight as possible this way and then come in this way right and then pushing around you can loop that part a little bit wide because you have to run wide anyway and then you come around this way and then you jump, jump it again now at this scenario once you've jumped your third window here and this one's blocked this right here is absurd especially if that one's blocked if it's open then same thing you can still get to the openness as well and then turn it around but with this specifically i think that window is better to connect because if you run this one and you push this way and he pushes you around then you can just run back to this way which will get you you can't double back because you can see through all that, which can either get you back to the O penis or back to that pallet, which you can turn it back around. Or if you wanted to, if he was way far uh, far enough behind, you could just run around the long way, literally, and make it looping back to square one with no counterplay because you can see through all this wood. Once again, being careful of this little bit right here, it is like this on both scenarios. It's not just when the one's in front. I'm not lagging. You're seeing it right. That's just what this happens. It's the glitchiest little piece of tile on any of the maps in the entire game so avoid that one but as well when you have this window as well when you have this window right here is when you can get even more use versus projectile killers that's when this back corner one becomes way way better because if they push you around this way and like i said you can see through all this stuff right here you can even see through because you can see through that wood right there so you can still see him pushing around and if he pushes you around this way and it's projectile killer you can still get the running vault right if it's death slinger you got to be a little bit careful here because uh, whichever way he's going to push you you got to be careful obviously but if it's death slinger once again you'd still want to be right here because if he pushes you around this way instead then you can run around here they can't really double back you can be around this corner because he can't get enough of a head start on you to be able to get you in line of sight and if you're running around this way you're watching then you're on the window and now he not only does he not have you in chase but now he has to go around the long way you're coming around he still can't shoot you on any of these parts right and he comes around the corner here right and say that was even your third vault and you don't want it to block and you want to keep doing that you come around this way right same thing it pushes you around that way you could go to that way and if he pushes you around this way even if he does push you around this way like i said you can still go to that one and if it's a big enough head start as i was saying you just walk around and it's back to square one with this and that's just what's so broken about this is 
no matter which window you get, it's uncounterable. And you have the O penis on the other side. You have all these pallets that also make them even stronger as you just run around and jump it over and over, just like this, looping as fast as possible. They can't double back because you can't see them coming. They push you around this way if they double back. If they double back, you have time to break line of sight, which you can sit here and not be pressing anything and just press the vault button. So even if they got you in sight, that wasn't in that wasn't in chase and that was a free vault. So double backing is like a, literally a terrible idea on this one. Like the way to, the actual way to get somebody in the counterplay is to let them get their three vaults and block the window and then try to go game at the O penis and hopefully you can do it. But just if you're gonna try to get the survivor and they got the three vaults and now you're up at the O penis, just a word of advice to the killer: don't ever respect this pallet. Even if they get a stun. Getting the stun is so much better and getting rid of this, even if they win chase and get, get away from it. Having three of the survivors running here, forcing you to try to game this pallet and block the window, because you're not gonna win that battle. But because of that, and because of all the things surrounding this, it's literally both windows. Both windows are overpowered. No matter what version you get of this main building, no matter which breakable door you get, it's overpowered with a small amount of counterplay from the killer. And they have to be playing like a specific killer most of the time to even have any counterplay possible. Get the running vault this way though. Do I make it again? I'm not sure. I might get put in the basement here, actually. No, I'm definitely going to make it again. <clears throat> I'm going to make it a third time. Let's go. Oh god. Big Sedge. I'll get hit with an M1 here, but I'm at the main. No, I won't. Does he have Boozle? He doesn't. What the fudge? Damn it. I should have gone to that little thing over there and tried to loop as tight as possible. Could have gone to the pallet, but... Oh my god! She actually saved me with the firecracker. What a fucking legend. Will it block, technically? It's a different ch Yeah, it will! It's a different chase, too. That's so sad. I was literally thinking... I was like, it is a different chase. I need him to, yes. Swing again. No.
Oh my god. Don't find me down here, please. Yes! Why do they always move, dude? <laughs> try to crouch. I know it doesn't work, but it's always fun to try. Oh my god. There we go. No, you can! God damn it. <laughs> no. But I got in the running vault. But I did not. to run though. I would not make that again. Got him. You guys see why I hate this map when I'm playing killer? I fucking hate this map when I'm playing killer. I'm actually running the next one. I might not make it, but... Yes! Damn. <laughs> I tried to greet it. Last one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here we go again. <laughs> oh shit, you did go this way. I realized it too late. But uh, did the thing go down? 
Yes! <laughs> Dang it, didn't work. Throw it down. Yes! I'm not gonna make it though. No! Let me greet this. I think we're going for the window. <laughs> greet it. Yes! <laughs> Do I make it back to Maine, though? I will. Ooh, Fung might be able to make it out. And then... I might be able to get hatched. I'm gonna make it. No, if I made that, I would have made it out. Oh god. Yay. Let me get to the other side. Bam, 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 bam. Yes. Oh, boo. Greet it. Damn. <laughs> I, I literally thought you could get the skill checks, but not, uh... Too late. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's usually what happens to me when I'm playing killer. <laughs> I tried to cut it too tight. Dang it. I have no scans. I can run through this once. To the O penis. Oh, she left me. I should have ran back the other way. Oh god, this is terrible. Oh no! He was trying to help me. <laughs> Come on, even Myers just like oh. Whoops. Well, this was good, ain't it?
<laughs> he didn't hit me with the whip. He didn't. Why is he not going for the whip? Oh, that's why he's not going for the whip. If it's open hand, it's uh Let's go. Ah, good shit. Yeah, flashlight. Oh, let's go. Oh god. Yes. No. Oh God. You don't want to chase me at the main. Mikey, come on. He does. Oh! I was like, why can't I see him? Run this way this time. That's insidious. I hate throwing pallets, but I have to here. I'm not gonna make this. No, I wanted him to crash. That would have been sweet. All right, so you can do that. No. Yay, I was hoping, and wishing, and thinking. Yay! Can I make this? Yes, barely. Suck pit, OP. No, I should have curved around the other way. We'd just be proving how unbalanced the game is. <laughs> it's for a purpose. Oh my god, is she gonna catch up to me? I think so, right? Oh god. The oh, lusty blood. And I looped too tight and stubbed my toe. I don't know if I'd have made it anyway, that would be fair. That was just tier three lunge, right? I don't think that was cool. Oh! Can I make it? He has a super fast, uh... Vault, though. But I can make it around again. To this one. Dang it! I was hoping. No! But it was, uh, with wine, right? I mean, I've heard it with wine, but I didn't... 
Oh god, I'm getting hit. I got it twice in one game. I literally closed my eyes. I was like this. I was like, <laughs> like just expecting to get hit. <laughs> I can't see her at all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good stuff. Instead. I don't like action movies that much, admittedly. But I like sci-fi. I just figured this out. Like, recently. Because sci-fi is, like, there's a lot of action in sci-fi, but for some reason I like sci-fi. But I don't like, like, action movies. Like, I'll never go out of my way to see... Yes! <laughs> These are the 100 bits, mate. Uh-oh. He does not have boozle. Oh god. Damn it. <laughs> oh nice, you got the dead heart. Probably could have used the power there. Yeah! Uh, F. And I'm like, I know, I didn't mean to do that. Why did you swing? Oh, you thought I was... You tried to swing for the pallet, that's funny. You must have, uh, what's it called? Anyway. Like, he was losing money to multi-stream, and he got it changed. Dang. Shin, go for it. <laughs> Big Sedge. Your sprint, and then you'd cancel it? Damn it. Oh my god, I'm gonna get one shot down. Wait, what the fuck? No, I didn't. But greet it. Oh, they're fast as fuck! <laughs> That's hilarious. I should actually run the other way. Because... Oh god. Did I make it? Yes! But there's another tarp somewhere. I know there is. Ah! Run! Okay, nice. Now, another fun thing you can sort of incorporate is this wall right here. That works better when you have this window instead of the long window. But if you're up against, say, a projectile killer, because projectile killer is like a death slinger or something, is can make use or get some use out of his power on these windows because of the long straight shots up to a window that he can hit you through. So in scenarios like that, you'd want to use this wall. And that's why they literally have a big hole in the wall right there for you to be able to see anyway. So you could either like stand right here and you can see them coming from that way. And if they came from that way, if you got a big enough head start, you could either run to that window there or if they're coming around this way and they pushed you this way and you had this window, you could just jump this which would be coming from the right direction since they would have to come around this way as you would push to the left. Or even better, if they got a jump start on you when you're coming around this way, if it was, say it was like an M1 killer and you just wanted to have some fun looping this one, you can even reset the chase by faking this. If they double back at all, you'll make it to the window or that window. So this window right here can be used literally as just a mind game if you're coming around that wall, because if they double back literally at all, you're going to make it to one of the windows. And if they don't double back, you can just round the corner and be at the, the main O penis once again. Little to no counterplay from the killer's point of view. <laughs> try to crouch. <laughs> I know it doesn't work, but it's always fun to try. Oh 
Oh my god. There we go. No, you can! God damn it. Did I make it again? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm like... No! See, how am I not exposed this time? He knows my tricks now. No! I thought I could make it. That's sad. Yeah, that was good shit. Whoops. Well, this was good, ain't it? Haha. <laughs> you gonna hit me with the whip. Come to me, I'm not even running it the super efficient way. I'm experimenting. Did we go for it? Damn it, he didn't. I fucked up my head start though. I kind of want to start it over. Oh, good shit. You're in this. I think he gets me, actually. I thought he was going to get me. Damn, I knew I should have faked it. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's hilarious. Can I vault this yet? No. All right, now it's time to talk about the suck pit mid garbage, because this is only on suck pit, which is suffocation pit number one, but you got to keep an eye out for it no matter which, whether it's number one or two, because if it's number one, this is a whole nother main building by itself. Doesn't even matter what RNG you get. Now you can get better RNG sometimes and not quite as good sometimes, but no matter what, I've always seen good connectable tiles because it's gym tile on top of gym tile i believe it's five consecutively on top of each other we can count them up here right so we got one two three four five gym tiles directly on top of each other so it almost doesn't even matter which tiles you get they're pretty much always going to be connectable so say we were talking about earlier where the killer went around that way and we jumped a window and he pushes us this way now we can run in here and do this and if the killer sees we're looping this and goes to mind game, he's going to lose distance again because now we're onto this tile. 
And if we mind games and we say we make it to this window over here, right? It doesn't matter which way he pushes. He pushes us all the way around the long way. We can either get back to this tile here, or say we didn't even want to do that. Say we wanted to come over here, greed this pallet, and if he respects it at all, we're going to make it all the way to that window. Forget about this gym that we have right here. We can make it all the way to this window. And then we can make this window without even thinking about it, even though it's not an efficient way to run. He pushes us around this way, and we're holding forward. You can jump this way, which we can loop right into a simple pallet gym. And if he respects it at all and goes the other way, we can push right in here, which we profited again. And knowing that we either have a window there or a pallet here. And say he's pushing us this way. And we come back this way, and he goes to mind game. Hold forward again. Now we're at another tile. And sometimes you can get literally setups where you just have, like, this window facing that way into a long wall gym that you can jump another window through. And then you have a pallet if you want to. And then another long wall gym where, say, you have, like, the double windows gym right here in the corner. And then you just jumped in and you just gained more distance on the killer. And then you turn it right back around and jump the double windows gym. Keep holding forward. And now you have the tip of the long wall gym because now you're going to jump this long wall window right here. Which is going to go right into another window right here. And that that's why I call this suck pit and why it's so frustrating on killers. It's like, it feels like there's nothing you can do. And even not mind gaming works in scenarios like that. Just because every time they jumped, the killer has to go around because they jumped another window. So they're coming back in and they jump another window. And they go around again, they have to jump another window. And they jump another window and the killer has to go around again. And when they're going around this way, the killer, that's when you push back to the first window you jumped. Now the killer has to go around that window again. And now they're coming back in. Now you jumped another window. Now the killer has to go around this way. And if they go around this way, you're going to push back into those tiles. And if you don't push around that way, you push around this way. And still, they go back to those tiles. So there is a reason I called this map in general, I called it Suck Pit until number two came out. But now we have two different versions. We have Suff Pit and we have Suck Pit. This is why this is Suck Pit. This is one of my least favorite maps in the entire game is Killer. Because it just feels so bad. You're like, do I chase the Killer Shack in the beginning of the game? Do I chase any of this garbage? Or do I chase the overpowered main building that has little to no counterplay? from the killer's point of view it just and it's also one of those maps where as killer you're stuck like i have to defend this side or that side because if i try to defend anything else they'll have agenda like say i spawned over here they'll have agenda before i even make it to the other side and find which gen they're on because if i went to that side that corner of the map freak they were on that gen over there and by the time you make it they have it done because it's a four seater and there's four people sitting on it so this map is just obnoxious if you're playing killer you literally it's just like a, a no lose it doesn't even matter what mind game you're trying you're like I want him to go around that or to go around that way, but he didn't. He went around this way instead. Doesn't matter. Have another tile. And if and if he did go around that way, it doesn't matter. Have another tile. Like it's it's actually absurd. And it's always like that. There is always five gym tiles piled on top of each other. I've never I feel like the only one that wouldn't be crazy strong is if you had five simple pallet gems on top of each other. But even then you'd have to get around five safe pallets that were dropped consecutively if you really wanted to. The connectivity wouldn't be that crazy. And that is possible like it is i've seen like three lts consecutively but even then even lts aren't that safe but when you have three in a row and you can just jump the same window three times in a row and then run around and jump the other window three times in a row there's, there's nothing the killer can do so keep that in mind when you load in this suffocation pit to keep an eye out whether it's suck pit or it's suff pit because if it's suck pit you don't even have to loop the main building to have a ridiculous time this is another ex example of what i was talking about with lane gyms about how there's no right thing because if we were coming this way and we wanted to loop this from the killer the killer wanted to mind game we can just push right back this way right into a super safe wall and we can even either loop this or loop one big go around this way whichever way the killer pushes us they're going to commit to one way or the other and we could jump the window again and then after jumping the window, we can see which way the killer goes. They push that way, we go that way, they push that way, go that way. And now we're back to the simple pallet gym. And if we go around this way and the killer wants to loop, you can just hold forward. And now we're at a lane gym. And from the lane gym, you can have the killer respect and you walk around. Now we have a long wall we can jump. That's not a long wall, that's a double windows, but... This is what I'm talking about with the mid garbage and how and why I call it the mid garbage because it just seems like there's so many times where it's a lose lose scenario for the killer. That's what happens when you pile five lane gems literally on top of each other and make that static. I hate this map when I'm playing killer. Speaking of which, oh my god, that was random as fuck. Why did they go that way? That's what I mean. I was like not sure if doing this on purpose or doesn't know how this tile works. Are you gonna throw? Why didn't you throw? What the fuck? See what I mean? I'm like, why are you not throwing? The M1 Huntress is like the scariest killer in the game. 
Yes. She pretty swung the pallet. You guys see why I hate this map, by the way? This is used to be my least favorite Mac killer, and now it's Garden of Pain. Because this shit sucks. God damn it. No, I thought they were going to double back. God damn it. They gifted it to me and they got me like the big one and I still don't know what to do with it. Everyone's like, stream decks are great. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do with it. The only thing I do with it is for soundboard and voice mod. And my voice mod like wasn't working that other day, if you remember. Oh my god, this guy's getting suffocation pitted. Uh-oh. <laughs> Suffocation pit sucks, man. It's so funny. Can I make this? No. Yes! <laughs> I had to juke this again, right? Now I'm gonna jump it. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get hit, but fuck it. Dude, I hate this map. This is one of my least favorite maps in Killer, because look at all this garbage. You <laughs> literally have to unga this shit. Oh god, get around the wall! Yes! Save my ass. No! Oh! I am going down. Oh shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh my god, then look at this crap, dude. You see what I'm saying? This is why I hate this map when I'm playing. You guys see what I'm saying? <laughs> this crap is obnoxious. <laughs> Super playing killer. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me loop this shit. Think I won't? Teleport. There's no pallet over here. There's just a tile here with no pallet. The pallet's done too.
Did I even make this? No, he has coup. I didn't. I still made it though. Wow. I make this too. I don't make this though. Maybe. Yes, I do. I make this one too. And go right back around a big old circle. I don't know if I make this. I don't think I do. No, I don't. It was close. It <laughs> I need help. Help me, Adam. No. No. Damn it. <clears throat> well, this is a situation and a half. Oh, no. This is not what I thought it was. Oh god. Oh god. No zombie. Yes. I was hoping for that. Here we go. God. I didn't know he was right on me still. What the fuck? There we go. God damn it. I thought he went back the other way. <laughs> we actually got fucking log value. Do you see that shit? But it's sub pit. I'm supposed to be able to hold forward and profit. Damn it. I hate it, 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 hate it. Please don't have a fucking trap. I fucking hate it here. I hate please no trap. Oh butt clench. Clinch. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, I should have juked it again. Get out of your mind. Get out of your mind. Get out of your mind. Oh shit. I ran this wrong. He ran that wrong. Pure skill. 
hold forward in profit. Swing. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, it's a suffocation pit. Well, I just done ran right into this killer. <laughs> What kind of subs do I got? Yep, typical suffocation pit, super dumb setup right here in the middle. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I should have jumped the window, I don't know why I hesitated. <laughs> it's, it's funny to stare at him and not do anything. Damn. I didn't get away from that corner though, because there was a zombie there. Oh fuck, it moved all the way over here. That's sad. Luckily it's Moaning Storehouse. Or Suffocation Pit, I mean. Oh my god, move! He went after her. And she was trying to help me, I think she went to like throw a thing down. Oh, God damn it. Yes. God damn it. Oh, shit. No. Suffocation pit OP. God damn it. I was hoping to go for the fake. Nobody's buying my fakes today. I must not be selling them good. Holy shit. That's why suffocation pit sucks. Suffocation <clears throat> pit is so bad that you can get used to a huge fucking pile of wood just sitting there. Dang, he didn't swing. <coughs> yes! Got him again! Just like the beginning of the match. No! God damn it. Ah! Oh my god. I'm sorry, Ada. That was my fault. Chase me, please. No ah! respect! <laughs> Do 
Here comes the window jumping, ready? <laughs> dumb as shit, look up. <laughs> See what I'm saying? This is dumb as shit. <laughs> and then I stubbed my toe. They gave up on hook. Run the middle, run Sorry. the middle, run the middle. Oh my god. You Thank you, Mossy Sauce. <laughs> So 100 bits. I used to be able to do that step. That's one of the hardest step steps I know how to do, actually. Look at the not broken setup I'm running right back to. Bravely and daringly. I am scared. I do not know. Me. Oh God. He spawned at the worst spot possible. <laughs> double back. You're supposed to double back. The fuck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, we got this fucking set up. Yay, just fucking barely. Oh shit, there's no pallet there. Oh fuck, I can't go that way. I just wasted my sprint burst, but I couldn't go that way. <laughs> it's like the fuck? <laughs> it's way he's going. And then he hit me with it. What we got here? Z wall value. I mean, kinda. No! I wanted the Z wall value. You're supposed to swing. The fuck? How did I get hit by that? Bro, look what I get when I do self pit. Ain't any value off of that, bro. Damn it. Hmm. Oh god, that was a good play. I was not expecting that. Oh, I should have thrown it! No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yay! Where's the OP setup? Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it went too far. No, 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 no,
Oh yay, that was lucky. Free drop. Damn. I mean, yay. somewhere <laughs> that would have been funny funny looking pow the fuck is that? oh, that's from scrubs oh my god I'm like what do I even know that from oh god we have that set up damn it and I fucked it up I got too excited I had too excited I hate this map when I'm playing killer it's so annoying I know he has to tunnel because there's two gens done. <laughs> oh, good shit! Oh my god, what a hero! Oh, dad. No! Oh! No, Claire. The fuck? <laughs> they vaulted again. This is why I hate stuff, Pit, once again, you guys. Yes! Suffocation pit is way too OP. Ah! <laughs> we got the jukes, we got the jukes, we got the jukes. I was gonna vault this, right? So I thought. Get him away, get him away, get him away now. Get him away, get him away, get him away now. Run back in there. No! You were supposed to mind game yourself like all the other killers do. Run him away for a while. I had a red, uh, finally met the guy. Look at this fucking brainless. Remember I was talking earlier about how you can get like a setup where you just run through window after window? That is a perfect example of what I mean. You can get a god setup on this map where it's just literally like six windows in a row and you're like, this sucks. Necessary. I fucking went way too loose. No! I should have vaulted. So another thing I want to talk about specifically is holding W. We always talk about chaining tiles and looping tiles and looping tight and doing all this and that, but this is another map where holding W is a massive power. Because as I was saying, you can get RNG in the middle here, obviously, where if you held forward from one side, we didn't get it this time, obviously, but if you could have setups where you just jump from window to window, like, and I could run by this, and then this could be another window here for me to jump. And then after you jump that and profit and the killer goes around, I could have another long wall window here to jump. And this all counts as holding forward. So holding forward is absurd on this map. And even after holding forward all the way through the middle, like all that middle garbage, you could still keep holding forward because now we're at the main building. So now if I have a big enough head start, still holding forward and he goes around this way, you loop around this, and he's still pushing around. Now I can still be holding forward. Still holding forward. And now we're going back through the main garbage again where I could just 
possibly jump five windows in a row and profit. And this is literally not even attempting to loop. This is just holding forward. This is like one of the only maps, maybe the only map, if you get suck pit at least, where you can literally just hold forward and loop the entire map and make it in big circles from one side to the other side back again because that's just how it works so much. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you are holding forward is you don't just want to hold forward. To really profit off of holding forward, you want to hold forward to a tile where you can break line of sight, especially if you've been looping before, something like this. And you want to at least try to loop it like once, right? So if we get in here, we don't want to just want to keep holding forward. We want the killer to know that we can loop so that the killer will try to mind game. If we've already done some looping, then you can really just hold forward. But that's why doing something like this, right? And then you go in like we're going to loop and then they go to mind game themselves and now we're still holding forward. <laughs> but you can do that with like anything. You can sort of use it to gain distance on the killer and open ground as well. Because say I was running this way, right by this tree and the killer, I'm trying to break line of sight. And when I break line of sight, but I'm still holding forward, the killer goes to cut me off by going around that rock that way. The second I see the killer go that way around the rock, we cut this way. And now we just gained some more distance, even though we didn't run through any pallet or jump through any window or anything like that. The killer went to use their efficient pathing to have us zoned out from somewhere. And now we gained distance because of it, because we broke line of sight. You could do it right here even. Be running this way, right? And say the killer was behind us. And then say the killer goes to go around the rock that way. And then we cut this way. We just gained a little bit more distance. Because the second, if we're going this way, right? And, and we're going in this way and the killer goes to cut us off that way. And we go back this way. This still counts as holding forward and we're just gaining distance every time. Just letting the killer do all the mind gaming on themselves. So, and sometimes you have to hold forward anyway. Just in case, like, say there was, like, a survivor hooked and another survivor slugged and now I'm getting chased. Like, don't even try to loop that. Don't be like, oh, I have an overpowered setup here. Let me see if I can connect this tile to the main building when you have somebody hooked on that and somebody slugged here. If I'm healthy, I'm not trying to loop this. Like, not even just trying to get over to the window without taking my hit. Like, if, if that's the scenario, you're not trying to loop shit. Or you're literally doing the entire team a very big disservice. If this is a scenario, you literally hold for it. doesn't matter if you're going to get hit. You hold forward and you get away from there. And you're trying to drag the killer away from there and force him to stay there. So we can either reset and then do steal team six with two people. And get the person off the hook. And, and, and also the person slugged. That's another thing too. If you're slugged, crawl away from the hook. Do not sit recovering at all because the killer gets two hooks there then you the second you go down don't recover just start crawling to avoid that scenario anyway but just in case that scenario comes up and, and the person is sitting there recovering just hold forward don't try to loop anything unless you're going to go down if you're going to go down yes try to loop something but if you're full health just hold forward and take the hit to get somewhere else and try to drag him somewhere else and force him to decide you are not say or if anybody's even hooked in general if somebody's hooked in general just don't loop by there like doesn't matter how strong the thing is doesn't matter that you could loop the killer for five gens at this strong setup you have here or somebody's hooked there doesn't matter hold forward and take the hit and get away from there and do the entire team a favor we're i have another pair too that's ridiculous not as nice as these but Oh, she gave up. Fuck. That's got a hope. The hatch hope. Oh, he's gonna see me make it though. Hmm, can I make the window? Maybe, 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 maybe. No, he is. Yes, I did make the window. Let's go. Oh my god. Ah! And then if nobody joins after the game, they stepped out and there's still open spot, then they can join back in again. No! Damn, I was trying to be fancy. Oh my god. Where do I even go? Can I make it to this pallet? Yay! I was hoping. And wishing. And thinking. Yay! Can I make this? Yes, barely! Am I gonna get this heal? Oh, boo. I didn't get him out. Oh, he got him out. Nice. Oh, God. He's just waiting for me to, so he can... Expose me.
Yeah, I knew that was coming. Haha! <laughs> Make it a main now. Let's go! Should have sat back on the gen, that would have been good. Good stuff there. No! He's letting go. The Square of Doom. No! She got it. Why are there no pallets on this entire corner of the map? <laughs> Dude, that entire corner is a dead zone. Not when I'm playing killer. When I'm playing killer is one of my least favorite maps. It is some bougie. Let me tell you. Give some shit like this. Look at that. Skill, right? No, he didn't fall for it. Dang skill. <laughs> I don't know where we're going now. Oh, Lee, fucking crazy body block. Oh, that Michaela is a fucking god. Marks. God damn it. That sucks. We wouldn't have got the door open. You know she's going to have traps over that way. Hey, maybe you, you get out. She had traps in the shack. I was worried I fucking saw that shit on the ground. I'm holding forward. No, it's tarped. Is that tarp too? Yeah, it is. Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna go down if I didn't throw that. I wanted to waste a little more time and hope I could make this. Oh my god, she get it again. Oh my god, bro. How is she such a fucking legend? Bro, she's a fucking legend. How? Holy shit. I'm not sure there's a single album like that. Oh god, I ran right back into him again. <laughs> He's not even tunneling me, it's just me running into him. Somebody else through shack window? I ran into him again too, this is really sad. Like, he's literally not even tunneling me. I need to fake him out this way. Dang, it didn't work. That did work. What the fuck? I thought that was the Wesker. Oh fuck. They might get left unhooked. Yeah, they did. They got left unhooked. Oh, fuck! I have not gotten a chance to check where tarps are. I'm just gonna, like, hold W. And... <laughs> Is anybody else like this with Trapper? Trapper's like, worst killer in the game, and then me, like, horrified to even try to loop Trapper. Alright, Oh, there's a trap! Jump in the way! Ah! Okay, thank fuck. Alright, he does just have that add-on, I see. She didn't respect last time. Can't remember where she put the trap at. Where's the tarp? Thank you, Ada. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's a tarp over there, right? I'm pretty sure. Yep, that was the one. There it be. Stop whining. I wouldn't be like, oh, I hate Skull Merchant so bad anymore. Dang. That was a good fucking pickup. Look at that shit. I can't run back to the hook. No, basement. No, basement's not over here, right? Is this trapped? No! I'm not confident against Tarper. And I'm gonna get put in the basement. No! No, basement's not here. Okay, thank fuck. Sweated that one out for months. Damn it. Humping the main now, humping the main now, humping the main now, humping the main. Where the fuck is it? Ah. Run. They're coming to me. Who's healthy? Howdy! I'm sorry. I like, dude, I'm throwing this game. Yes! Fuck, there's nothing for me here. <laughs> That's fine. No! <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, I won't make it though, because bottle. The bottle. Maybe he didn't see. No! Vault. Vault. Oh my god, he faked the vault! Is this the right way? Can't remember. <laughs> no, it's not. This is very bad. <laughs> My cool crouch didn't work. I regret this day forever. God, I overcommitted. This is bad. I definitely overcommitted. A rework at least. Oh god. I'm gonna get hit. Right in the beginning. I have an L2 wall. Please don't have alchemy ring. He has alchemy ring. This is terrible. <laughs> Why is it the first game on always like this? Because I'm too close to the hook. Now I'm right in front of his. Oh, lucky as fuck I am. Fuck. The basement's not over here, is it? That would suck. I didn't want to run that way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no! See, like, what do I do there? You know? Break, because I'm trying to peer pressure him back into it. Because I'm like, bro, you were literally one of my favorite streamers and one of the streamers I watched the most this year. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now we need to talk about chaining tiles. This is what we talk about with O penises, where we call them an O penis because of something. I know I'm going to say this at some point later when we're talking about the main building, but it's when you, like, if you saw something like this and you're like, oh man, the O penis level of this is huge, because we're talking about, like, the tallness. Like, that shack is so tall, the tallness of that shack is tall, right? It was jokingly be like, the O penis was huge. Not naturally, that's all we heard was the O penis is huge. So now we just call them O penises, but this would be a prime example of something. You can have much stronger than this, but if you have a pallet that forces the killer game, and then we're going to jump the window. And then it's like a, a sort of a non-win because the killer has to game around that pallet and this window and the other tile, right? Even this tile over here, like we can even connect this because we forced the killer to loop around this. The length of this, just this little thing right here is enough to get back to Shaq. So this whole area I would consider an openness because if we say he did the double back thing where he got us here, a lot of times I'm like, you'd have to throw the pellet. No, you wouldn't because we have something close enough where even if we lost the mind game there and he came back in, we have something right here. Pushes back around this way. Now we jump the window again. 
That's why I call them O penises, and you have to chain the tiles because a lot. Of, uh, what it really is is just chaining tiles. But to chain tiles, it's the same thing as like holding W. You can't just like run around this and then run right to that. You have to make the killer think you're going to loop it, or else they either might not commit to it, or they're going to be much more mindful of blocking that window, knowing that that's what we're going to try. So you have to go in the mindset of I'm only looping this until all of a sudden you're like here and you're like, hey, I'm at the apex. I can actually make the window now. You, you have to think about it that way because if if I'm using this to sort of get one, say I jumped around this way. And say for some reason he pushed around that way and he pushes us back around. If I'm only using this as clearly one thing to get from here to there, then the killer is going to see that, then double back here and get us here. You have to get the killer to commit to thinking we're just looping this tile. And you have to do this with all chaining tiles. And then the second that they committed to it where they know you're just doing that, that would be like them coming around that pallet with you right here. That's enough for you to make it. But you can't just loop one and then go around. You have to pretend like you're looping that and then cut to the other tile. You have to let the killer mind game themselves specifically. And sometimes even if the tile is too far for you to chain, if you've looped it a few times, say I'm coming around this way and then the killer doubles back. But then when you see it didn't throw it, he doubles back again. He just changed direction twice. And both times he changed direction, I gained more distance. And say I, this wasn't even close enough to make it if I would have just greeted it normally. But he just mind game himself twice because he was trying to get me out of position. And that just let us get even further away. Now you can chain tiles easier. And this is more of a thing if you're on death hook. By pre-dropping, this is when pre-dropping is a good idea, is because you are the distance between that to that. Like that's how far we are. So even though this was big enough to get to that, now it's much bigger for us to be able to get to this. And that's why pre-dropping is pretty good. So then we could either throw that or say we even threw this one, right? Say the killer was pushing us from this direction. We came this way and we just threw it. Doesn't matter which way the killer pushes around. If he pushes us around this way, if he doesn't want to break the pallet, then we get to the window. If he, if we pre-drop it and he pushes us around this way, we make it this way, we make it back to the window because the, the actual length of the tile is doubled once the pallet is gone. So that's when you really want to be pre-dropping pre is when you're on death hook and specifically with like unsafe pallets, right? There's not really unsafe pallets on this map except for the one going into main and that makes it like one of the strongest pallets on the map because of the connectability. But when you have the unsafe tiles, that's what it's really for. It's not like you're going to throw the pallet and then try to loop this tile itself. You act like you're going to loop it. You throw the pallet, right? Unless you're far enough away where you can throw it and then whichever way he goes around, you can holding W connect or gain distance that way. But even then, you probably would have gained more distance by not throwing the, t the pallet anyway. It's more you threw the pallet, and now they're going to push me around this way. And while they're pushing me around that way, I used it to make it to a safer tile. That's why you really want to pre-drop. It's not really to, like, get the pallet stunner this and that. It's, I'm on death hook, and I need to stay on my feet. I'm going to pre-drop so I can get to a safer area. That's why you want to pre-drop. Same thing if I was running over here. And this is when it's necessary to throw pallets. Because no otherwise, you really don't want to throw pallets, like, unless you're on death hook. But same thing. Say I was running this way, and I wanted to make it to main, right? And I was coming from this. And I, and I pre drop it and he pushes around this way pushing around that way is enough of a tile where it can make it right to main right because it's a big enough of a tile and now I'm all the way over here all just because if he does try to go around you can even like try to game this if you push this way and then he pushes around but we're this far away from each other right so when you're thinking about it we're only like 115 to 100 that distance when he comes around that way is going to take him all that time like even when we have the further window that would be a safe enough pre-drop for once they pushed us around we we're going to make it even if they pushed us around the other way right as i said because that was more assuming like if, if they're pushing us around this way because that would catch him on the right side of the rock and then we could just go and then we could just go to that way but say they did push us around this way right where they're going around here it's still big enough of a tile where they're on that side where you'd be able to at least make it to this pallet here or make it to this window here and that's why pre-dropping is good but just don't do it unless you're on death hook because you could have pre-dropped that earlier when you weren't on death hook and now you're being tunneled and when you're being tunneled you want to make it to the main building but you can't because you dropped this pallet earlier and that's the main reason to not drop pallets until you're on death hook it's for yourself and your teammates in case somebody else is getting tunneled and now they need to make it to main and it's still there for them to pre-drop to make it to main so that's a really good time to do it i'm trying to figure out is about like i have an o penis here Swing, please. Nice. That's what I meant by no penis. Oh, he has fucking bamboozler. I had to hit him with the. Damn. I should have hit him with it.
<laughs> That's funny. There she blows. Yeah, but it has no penis. Oh, penis! No! <laughs> Dang it. I should have done that on the first lap round. Read the palette. Yes! Yeah, double back. No! No! They went for none of my shenanigans. You know, guide. Oh god, I should have held forward. Oh my god, I just realized. I should have used my head start better there. Double back. Dang, he didn't double back. Oh my god, I stubbed my toe. And we got super lucky. I want to use the uh, shame hill over here. Dang it, which way do we gotta walk up? Ah, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Did we make this? Come on, medium. Yay, we got some value. Not enough though. <laughs> I wanna get value off of the shame hill. It is close enough to the uh, hill there that we can. I don't think this time, no, double back. Oh, good shit. Oh god. Well, I got super lucky there. It's like when my pathing is so bad that it confuses the person chasing you. Oh god. Yes! Just barely did double back here. God damn it. Come on, main. Look at this fucking setup. <laughs> I know he has bamboozle, but it doesn't even matter. Now I'm gonna test his saw. Just like I said. Damn. And then I can jump the window again. Look at that. Fair and balanced, right? I'm sure this killer thinks this is totally fair and balanced. Godly ass setups, man. Yeah! Let me get the greed to work. <laughs> I'll stay here. I don't give a shit. Look at this fucking setup. How do I not stay here? Oh my god, that was my third vault and chase, so it's actually gonna be down for a while now. Yeah. Yeah! Strike two. Oh damn, he could have got me with the saw there, actually. Decide. I mean, I said you could run it all the way across. I wanted to try it. <clears throat> and then it opens up this one. And then it opens up this one. <laughs> Look how dumb this RNG is. Oh my god. Ah! Opens back up this one. RN Jesus! Do I make it back though? He's got bloodlust now. Ah! <laughs> I 
Oh, fuck, I went the wrong way. He can't walk up it, though, so it doesn't matter. Remember this loop, Booba? I was gonna double back. He no double back. Yeah, thought so. I need a double vault. Yeah! Good shit. Damn it, I should have thrown the pallet. Yes! Let's go to the side. Yay! He didn't get me in chase yet. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm in chase though. Boo! No! Damn it! <laughs> I unhook. Ooh, no! I don't know how to throw pallets. Yeah, I got the running ball. Woo! Fair and balanced. All right. Do I have the distance? Because that was the game right there. Do I have the distance to make it again? Yes! I don't think I do this time though, right? This setup is so dumb! <laughs> oh my god! He double vaulted. Does that actually get me? It does! Good shit! That's cool. Big Sag. Oh man, they're right here. I gotta hold forward already. This is my favorite killer to play against. We are not getting lucky with the uh, games today, it appears, are we? We got Water Tower. Oh, it's the new one. It's the new Suck Pit. All right, mind game yourself. There's no play here. No, stub my toe. Yeah, it didn't matter. I can make the LT wall. You should never loop this rock this way. I want to talk about looping tight as well. Just I, I want to mention this briefly in all the guides I talk about. I talked about it at greater length on the Wrecker's Yard guide because I was talking more about the common tiles. But when we're talking about looping tight, you can run at an angle like this. And then the second the tile actually ends, you start cutting in. And that really helps you to loop tight cutting around a corner where you can just cut right in. And for reasons like this, I actually think it's better to, to loop on controller personally. Because if you have like a really weird shaped angle that you want to loop tight on, like these rocks or something like that. If you're on W, A, S, and D, there's only eight total directions you can move with your feet so when you have like really weird shaped tiles you have to compensate by using your mouse to actually loop as physically tight as possible and you do not ever have to do that on controller because with w a s and d you have or with uh, actual control stick you have full range of motion not just w s and d you can't 360 as fast obviously like if i try to 360 faster this ends up happening and i'm playing on the highest look sensitivity i'm playing on 100 so there's, that's the one downside of controllers. You can't 360 as fast. This is about as fast as you can. But two things about being able to loop tighter is you can actually loop the weirdest shaped tiles literally tighter without having to use your, your camera to compensate. And number two, say you're up against something like a scratch mirror Myers or something that just having you loop the same tile over and over and you need to loop tight because if you're looping as tight as possible since survivors hitboxes are smaller than the killer, it's like almost impossible for scratch mirror Myers to catch up, like literally, especially if it's like a short tile. This one is a little bit bigger, so it wouldn't be something like this. But say you're even just looping something like this, like it'd be hard for Myers to like catch you on something like this and it's harder and it's two things number one this little bit right here is exactly what i'm talking about with w a s and d struggling with without having to use your camera to compensate for the very odd shape of this you can sort of use your thumb to actually draw like a mouse for movement but not just that if he was just pushing you one in one circle and you have to loop tight or you're gonna get hit right you end up having to pick up your mouse over and over because 
you can't you're gonna run out of mouse space but if i'm if, if he's just pushing me this direction like this i never have to pick up my mouse and then sacrifice this possible distance or be stuck playing guitar hero on w a s and d because i had to pick up my mouse because i ran out of mouse pad like all these things i just think contribute to why i specifically think controller in my opinion is better for looping than mouse and keyboard is but it really boils down to you being able to run at an angle like this without losing distance we, that's why we call stubbing your toe because if you loop too tight right like even on just on a wall if you're looping too tight here you'll lose distance like this like you see how i just lost distance like you want to find that happy space of where you're running at the angle so you don't have to like do as much when you turn the corner also on the super tight corners like say if i was going to loop something like this i actually think that's better as well on controller because not only do i get to use my camera but i get to draw the actual image with my thumb as tight as possible so these are all just my opinions i'm not saying they're they're fact but all those reasons lead me to believe that i do think it's better to loop on controller especially loop tight on controller than it is on mouse and keyboard now another thing that goes hand in hand with looping tight is greeting palettes because you always want to loop as tight as possible and that's how you you know you can really game especially with unsafe tiles on getting back to it and be able to throw the palette or not but greeting palettes not only does it work an overwhelming majority of the time i'm doing an experiment right now where i'm trying to throw basically no palettes the whole year I'm only throwing palettes to save other people essentially like palette stuns are getting people out of basement and stuff like that but i'm almost never throwing palettes in chase because i just wanted an actual accurate representation of like how often do killers actually respect because it's going to be different no matter what people are different and we're playing against real people not bots they're not programmed to think a specific way so it's never going to be consistent but i wanted to just have a general idea and overwhelming majority of the time does it work almost almost always they'll respect at least one or two pallets the entire game but the other thing about greeting pallets is you can get better at looping the same tile so if i was if i was over here at the simple pallet gym and i wanted to get better at this and i wanted to work at my checkpoint and reacting in time where you push around here and pushing here not seeing it then pushing back around and see i just had a pathing error where i did a big goofy turnaround you don't want to do that you want to turn towards the tile but say this was the first chase of the game right and then i want i wanted to work on getting this if i went down even if i could have thrown the tile you're like all right nice i get to go back and work on that and you could have judged like i would throw this pallet here you know and and it's kind of a win-win if you go down you're like yeah like my positioning was good i would have made the right decision everything's good and i get to go practice it again because it's still standing and number two if you were wrong and you were like i would throw this and they respect it again you're like <laughs> Well, I get extra loops now, and I get to keep working on it. But the problem is, all of that is gone the second the pallet's thrown. And the second the pallet's thrown, if you're going to loop this tile, like actually this tile, and not use it to get somewhere else, which is like kind of the point of, of throwing the pallet if they're going to loop it, not really want to actually loop the tile that you threw the pallet on if they're not breaking it. Specifically, like if they break that tile, and all I wanted to work on was this tile, I can't work on it anymore. It's gone. They're going to break this. And looping it this way is the exact same as any other tile where there's one total mind game whether do I jump the pallet or not. It's like that on every single other tile in the entire game once the pallet's thrown. So if you really want to work on something, not throwing the pallet, even if you're going to try to go down and just sort of guessing whether it would be the right time to throw it, if they were going to respect it or not, is extremely beneficial and helps you get better and better. And specifically doing this in solo queue, I think solo queue is the best way to get better at looping because you play the most matches. If you're playing with a swift, it's not even like we're going to get the gens done and get out and something. It's more like if I get tunneled out, I have to that they're waiting for my friends to finish the match so I can get onto another one. But if you're playing in solo queue and you get tunneled out, you got three chases, you could be in another match getting three more chases by the time it took the first killer that tunneled you out to even say EZ or anything like that. You gotta be in a whole nother match, you mean a third match, practicing your seventh chase already by the time the first match even ends. If they got like a, a three gen scenario or something like that, and then you're just on to the next one. And then you don't have to like wait around for anything or this and that. And then you can even hog the chase. And then and then you're not even gonna worry about getting tunneled that much. I know a lot of people talk about getting tunneled in the solo queue, but I'm like, that's especially now that they're removing, removing D pipping, they just announced they're removing pipping then it's gonna even be even better because the only time that you didn't want to get chased essentially all the time is when you needed to pip other than that it's like i want the chase 100 percent of the time but when you get to your decent rank you're like oh no i don't want the chase all the time but now that they're removing d pipping it's like screw it if you want to get better at chasing go greed pallets and solo queue because that's literally the best possible thing you can do to get yourself as many chases as possible on the tiles that you need to work on as much as possible so in review this map can differ greatly depending on if you get suffocation pit or you get suck pit this is suck pit with the one where you have all this garbage the other one you pretty much only have to ignore like two areas of the map where they have two gym tiles directly next to each other but that is 100 percent of the time the one you would rather see if you're playing killer because if you're playing killer they can either go loop the main building over and over or they can hold forward or loop this or they can do both where they literally got to that gym tile held all the way to this way all the way back through that gym tile all the way back to the main and that literally counts as holding forward while they're looping the entire map as one big loop essentially with suck pit with, with suffocation 
Ocean Pit, it's still overpowered main building with little to no counterplay from the killer, but it's a much more balanced traditional version of the map, and I kind of wish that they would rework this one to be similar to the other one instead, because this one is such a pain that it just feels like there's almost little to no counterplay at the main building or even the middle entire portion of the map, and that's just not really how I think it should be. But as it stands right now, this is an extremely survivor-sided map that you can literally get 5 gen chases off of one window. I've had a 5 gen chase off this window right here against a Huntress that was just trying to break it down, just to see if she could break it down. 5 gen chase off one window, and that's literally ignoring the rest of the map. This is an insanely survivor-sided map, no matter which one you get, but Suffocation Pit is a little more tolerable from the killer than Suck Pit is. Suck Pit is terrible. <laughs> it's hilarious to see on Survivor, but... At this point, you still kind of feel bad for the killer. You're like, here we go. Time to hold forward down the main middle of the map. <laughs> Where's the main building? Yes, it's all the main building. That's basically Suck Pit. Suck Pit at least has a main building and, and acts like the other maps. He is an absolute monster. <laughs> Oh, Huntress was AFK. <laughs> I was all spooked. Oh, fuck. Now I'm spooked. They vaulted. Running this way. I was like, maybe... I'm gonna try to punch this hatch at me. Haunted grounds? I want it. This is fun. Oh, damn! They got me. No! I got stuck on nothing, literally. <laughs> She's still vaulting. No, Adam. Is she going? 
Oh, she is. No! <laughs> this is Adam right next to me. No, she's not. Oh my goodness. This will block, uh, won't it? Oh my god. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out! Holy shit! No, she gave up! No, she got stunned! That was close. No!
I need help. Help me, Adam. No! No! What I'm trying to figure out is about like. I have an O penis here. Swing, please. Nice. That's what I meant by an old penis. Oh, he has fucking bamboozler. I have to hit him with the. Damn. <laughs> I should have hit him with it. <laughs> That's funny. He knew why I stayed there, so he blocked the window first. <laughs> Thanks, Sad. The only sad thing is I haven't been um, uploading too many videos. I've been working on these guides, but these guides are long as fuck. That last guide was like an hour and a half long. This guide is like an hour and 45 long. And I want to get in the habit of uploading like once a week, even if it's even if I'm not done with the guide, like make another video. Because my editing's better than I can show really in those guides, you know what I mean? I can show the editing better in the other ones, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, do something like that. Does he have his power? Nice. I don't think I make it anywhere. Greed the pallet. Mm, yes! It worked. Read it again. Swing! Oh my god, I guess not. Hmm. I was gonna vault this, right? So I thought. Unfortunately, I didn't want to throw that, but I didn't want to get put in the basement neither. I don't like throwing down this many pallets, but it's kind of necessary. The last game I bought was Super Mario Wonder, and I haven't played it yet. I bought it for my nephews. <laughs> it's just like, my sister's, uh... of Shaq. Dude, snowball! I missed. <laughs> oh, this again! Damn it. I got hit. <laughs> These snowballs are hilarious. <laughs> ah! I thought it was off for a sec. Am I holding forward to a pallet or is there, am I just going to go down? Yeah, headshot! I think I'm just gonna go down. Oh god! He got fucked over by the video game. That weird hitbox thingy that's there. Wait. Yeah! Headshot! <laughs> Is the pallet back here? It should be. Oh god. Yes! Greed pallet. 
Bum, 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 <laughs> pallet. Or, uh, snowball. Oh, fuck. He got more snowballs. I don't have any more snowballs. No! Oh! I thought I was going to get hit there. Ah! thought I was going to get hit there, too. Back to it. I have no more. I'm jealous. Greet it. No! <laughs> Yay. Hey. Damn. Oh, yay. That was lucky. Free drop. Damn. I mean, yay. Use the power. Yes! Oh. Free drop. I always say I'm gonna do it, but I never do. Cause I don't have the skill. I'm there to use this. I did not. Drop it. No! I should have thrown it. Here we go. If you get Lethal Pursuer. <laughs> oh god. I didn't know he was right on me still. What the fuck? Here we go. God damn it. <laughs> I thought he went back the other way. <laughs> We actually got fucking log value. Do you see that shit? But it's sub pit. I'm supposed to be able to hold forward and profit. Damn it. You're supposed to swing! Help me, Jake. You're supposed to help me, Jake. Damn it. I stood too far away to greet it, my dumbass. The fuck? <laughs> that was really funny. Man, I haven't touched Jen this whole game. Yay! I'm <laughs> out the window. Can I run these two together? Or is it too far apart? It's probably too far apart, right? Running shack is boring. I want to greet a pallet. Like this, ready? Oh, it didn't work. Yeah, it did! Just delayed reaction, the fuck? And I got that latency. <laughs> greet it again. Yes! Can I throw it down this time? Yes! <laughs> oh god. Yes! The pre drop with all my. No, he's too far pre drop. God damn it. Cursed also streams? Oh, let me follow Cursed too. One second. She missed a skill check. No! Bah. Up out there. I wanted to loop that. Oh god! I stubbed my toe. <laughs> Woo! How did I get value for that fucking thing? 
I don't know if that'll ever happen again. Highlight it! Put it in the guide! Do you think I'm gonna double vault? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck, I'm gonna be hindered though. It's not this one, it's the other one. No! <laughs> oh god. Where do I go from here? <laughs> we go there from there. I don't know where to go from here though. Wow! This is the worst thing that could have happened here. There's no pallet there. That worked though. Swing. Oh, I wanted to swing. That would have been sweet. I have nowhere to go. Oh, I'm lucky as fuck though. Let's go. Jump it. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping it would go down and I'd get a free vault. to grade an exam my dad's a teacher and he was like they can watch by Mirror to be fine and then me and my sister were like scared yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go back to this one because it's bigger and more fun Greed it. Yeah, the greed. Damn it. <laughs> and run the big, uh, the big freaking, what's it called? Can I get the log pit value? Yeah, log pit value. Can I make this? Yes! Can I get the log pit value. Can you double back here? He did not. Let's go. Extra log pit value. I come this way. Yeah, big old fucking logs. Look at this shit. <laughs> value! <laughs> oh, I know it! No! Oh my god, what the F? It wasn't me, it was Fung. Mm, running. Log pit fucking value again. Can we get it? Oh yeah. He had a wiggle. You know this one now. Ah! Oh shit. Need a back. <laughs> Don't double back, please. Yes. Can you make it around this? Yay! The log pile value. Ah! And then greet it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was even thinking, I was like, he didn't respect it the second time last time. Oh god. Let me get the running vault this way, though.
Do I make it again? I don't, I'm not sure. I might get put in the basement here, actually. No, I'm definitely going to make it again. <clears throat> I'm going to make it a third time. Let's go. I don't think I make it anywhere this time though. No. Yes. No, he got me. Watch me loop this shit. Think I won't? <laughs> All right, you <laughs> love me. So you're like, I'm afraid to jump literally anywhere, dude. I fucking hate this feeling. Oh. Fucking hate it, 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 hate it. Please don't have a fucking trap. I fucking hate it here. I hate. Please no trap. Oh, butt clench. Clinch. Oh, uh, damn. Damn, I should have juked it again. And then you run into plague. That was the funniest shit. Oh god, he's right here. What the fuck? That sucks. We're right at main building, though. I literally had the distance on him. I thought he was on the outdoor. Oh my god, he has double speed. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it anywhere. I get here. Let's go. I get even farther because Claude's working on that gen.
Yes! Back to this one. Good shit. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, I will. Swing. Let's go. Pick the perfect time to leave that one. That was lucky as fuck. Am I giving me a bloodlust though? No, he didn't. Interesting. Good shit, Claude. We got super lucky. Oh god, it's Nurse. Where is she? Right behind. Make it to the rock. I got extra lucky. She thought I was still over there. She thought I was still over there. I hate this map actually. I'm playing killer. We got the newer version. It's the first version I hate super hard. I mean, nurse doesn't matter much, but the first version I think might be stronger against nurse because of all like garbage back to back in the middle. But that's why I hate it as killer. Hmm. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Holding W. This kit like can't really count as a warm up game. This is all the holding W. Oh god. Mm, damn it. Is that like the very tip of the range? Where did I have? Oh, it's over there. Fuck. Holy shit. I thought she was going to blink. She's faster than me. <laughs> oh, God. Here comes Nurse. No! Oh! This is bad. I'm at the end of the end of the line. Water tower. The water tower is hilarious. I'm not going to make it there, though. Nope. I can run it, though. She's faster than me, though. Dang it. The water tower is like the best thing against nurse. I have no idea why. But it is. She's still faster than me. She is! Oh my god! <laughs> she has two as well. What the fuck? All right, where is a tapesicle? Oh, she's right there. Fuck. I don't think this is a good idea of taking this. But if I don't, I'm dead. God, I got stuck in nothing. Bruh. Is right in front of me. You could have taken a hit, man. Come on, even Myers is like, oh. Whoops. Well, this was good, ain't it? Yeah, 
<laughs> he didn't hit me with the whip. He didn't. Why is he not going for the whip? Oh, that's why he's not going for the whip. I don't usually do that, but it felt necessary. I fucking went way too loose. No! That should have vaulted. Instead. I don't like action movies that much, admittedly. But I like sci-fi. I just figured this out. Like, recently. Because sci-fi is, like, there's a lot of action in sci-fi, but for some reason I like sci-fi. But I don't like, like, action movies. Like, I'll never go out of my way to see... Yes! Like, I've, I've seen, like, I don't think I've, I've ever seen a full Fast and Furious movie. You know what I mean? It's good old dumb fun. I love it. Yeah, hit him with a mind game. Woo! And then fuck myself. You can get me, though. No! Oh, it's so close. We're, I have another pair too, that's ridiculous. Not as nice as these, but... Oh, she gave up, fuck. That's gotta hope. The hatch hope. Oh, he's gonna see me make it though. Hmm, can I make the window? Maybe, 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 maybe. No, he is. Yes, I did make the window. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god, he has agitation. No, I'm going down! His backpack build. Did they get him off though, at least? Yes! <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Yes! I got a head start, unless it's just lag. I cheated. No! I wonder if that is a latency though, from me for the other slugs, or if they waited for the. I just waited for the action. But hey, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I was even saying, like, it's so much funnier when they take the last one because <laughs> you get to watch them go. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> I had to run like as soon as I had a chance. It was the only way. It was funny. Be free, Dwight. Kobe. Bryant. Oh! My god! It's full scream. Good shit. That was a good game.